And I, apparently there's settings you have to make in um, streaming, like, and I was like, settings? That's crazy. Um, and uh, the stream crashed like halfway through, along with like my video card, so. But I have gotten a new video card since then. Uh, so maybe this stream will be okay. So we'll see. Uh, Alright, so last time, you guys traveled into the Nether Mountains, uh, north... No, more like southeast, northeast, east of Silvery Moon. And on your way there, you did spot a, a rather large black dragon uh, flying towards the east, coming from the west. Uh, you continued your journey, anyways. Uh, made your way up into the mountains and towards the base of a great black mountain that is named the Black Mountain because Ed Greenwood designed a huge fantasy world and sometimes you just run out of clever things to name stuff. Um, as you made your way towards the Black Mountain, your guide slash ranger uh, found a sort of secret entrance into a long abandoned valley. And it is within that valley that you discovered these ruins guarded by headless statues. Uh, oh, and ghost bears. Um, you fought the ghost bears and uh, you kicked their butts. Let's just leave it at that. Nobody died. It was super easy. Um, you just decided to take a long rest afterwards because, you know, you were just burning down the clock, really. It had nothing to do with anything else. And that is what you did. Uh, you took a break and um, rested up, then rejuvenated and totally alive. You guys headed back to the ruins uh, past where you'd fought the ghost bears, down some stairs, and into the spooky ancient crypts uh, beneath Black Mountain. Uh, at which point you were attacked by uh, mummies. Yeah. And uh, I think that's where we are now, is you just got done whooping some mummies. Actually, we were in battle. We finished no, the first. Oh gosh, battle. you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're in the, yeah. <laughs> now that I load the map, I'm like, that's a lot of mummies. Why are there? Still, yeah. Why are there still mummies out there? Oh, they're all dead. That's why he just forgot hey. to clear their their body. Right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that was exactly what we did. Is we went through the one <laughs> round and then popped yeah. off. Yeah, la mumias. Yeah, we got it. And they were big mummies too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's are. all coming together it now. Tried, it's all making sense. It tried to. It tried to eat me. Yeah, it or is Christmas me, and a other. long week, so yeah. All right, let's throw that up. Okay, so let's switch from the super peaceful, happy music to something a little more uh, crazy. So mummy music. Yeah, mummy music. <laughs> uh, I'm ready for the mummy soundtrack to play. I got a very scared owl. What's uh? What's that? What's that? Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> There are like a thousand horses in the character sheet section. Hey, man. What are the odds that we run into Brendan Fraser in here? Oh. <laughs> there we go. We'll play. We'll play the end credits. We'll play the end credits from the Mummy. That's what we'll do. Except, except it's like the the knockoff version of the Scorpion King. So it's like the lower body of a man and the upper body of a scorpion. Oh, which is oh, awesome, no. and also the deity of like some fish people, I think. Uh, all right. So, pop up that initiative counter, and let's take it away. Uh, it looks like Lamumia 14 is going to go. All right. Lamumia 14 is in a target-rich environment, we say in the uh, DM uh, biz. It looks around for potential targets, and let's see. Yeah, Larionis is looking pretty squish. Uh, it's going to try to hit Larionis. Wow. Uh, this is like way like too... That. This music's way too chill. Hold, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's going to bring you some, like, spice dates or some shit. Like... Hey, man. Nothing wrong with that. I don't mind. I love oh, the sound. It, it, <laughs> yeah, we need, yeah, like yeah we need something, like, anxiety-inducing. Hold on. Uh, yeah. I need a quick reminder. The round of combat that occurred... Did any of the mummies hit anybody already? Um, mm, I uh, think they all whiffed, right? Pretty much? Most yeah. of them whiffed, I think. 
Okay. Yeah, I think they all whiffed. Yeah, oh, look, I'm, right. I I'm think... looking at a 12 and some other stuff here, so it should yeah, be fine. Yeah. 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 The mummy didn't I'm... have a good first round. I think I'm still feared. we one of them already. Oh, he's but... bloodied. Okay, I thought he was dead. Okay. All right, so Larianus, uh, here we go. Um, everyone else is saved against fear, right? I think so. Uh, okay. Uh, think I'm saved said... against the fear from these two, but I'm apparently feared of this one down here. I think. Okay, yeah. And I think you said that if you Cause... saved against one, you are good. Right. I once you are, once you are not afraid of mummies, you are not afraid of mummies. Correct. All right, so let's jump into this thing then. Um, Larianus, this fist is for you. Uh, oh, that's so sweet. Nineteen. Uh, uh, okay, I'll use uh, uncanny dodge. Okay, the reaction, the reaction for the damage. uncanny dodge. Got it. Yeah, I guess yeah. this is how we're starting, guys. <laughs> uh, go ahead and Man, give me a sure constitution body. saving throw or something cool happens. I like how it says, or dot, dot, dot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that, too. Yeah. I really like that. Oh, I love that. Okay. Okay. Hi. What, what, what cool Hi. thing happens? Um, well, uh, you're, uh, you start to turn to stone. Nice! <laughs> yeah, you are restrained <laughs> as your body begins to seize up and turn to stone. How many things have, have tried to petrify us already in this campaign? Alright, uh, that thing will just maintain position. Uh, so that brings us over to number 13. Uh -oh. Number 13 is right next to a Marcus, and that is who it will attack. Uh, here we go. 19. Swing and a miss. Oof. Alright. 19 misses. Oh yeah. It's good you got it. 21, dude. Nice. Alright. Uh, let's see, there is, according to this beautiful published adventure, uh, there is another rumbling sound. What? Yeah. And another mummy pops out. Uh, of course another oh. mummy pops out. Okay. Alright. Oh, not where I was expecting it to pop out from. Alright. Uh, it is going to, let's see, shamble and shamble. Oh, cat. They're a little slow. They're a little slow. And uh, it'll take a dodge action. Alright. Just when you think that's the end. There can't be any more freaking zombies. There's another zombie. Another one pops out. Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> uh, this big boy uh, mummy uh, kind of lifts its uh, sarcophagus lid, climbs out. And starts making its way towards everybody. It is going to take a dash action, but it's got difficult terrain, and it had to climb out of its sarcophagus, so it's right about there. Alrighty, that brings us to Duskin. Okay. Or substitute Duskin. Duskin. <laughs> Other elf, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, he's going to cast Shadow Blade as a bonus action. Okay. Uh, huzzah. And, oh, all slots excited. Didn't we long rest before we... We did. Uh, Roll20 has yeah. been kind of goof about um, spell slots uh, tracking. I think I just forgot to do his long rest. When, oh. uh, yeah, that, that's my bad. Okay, no so I, I fixed that. So he cast Shadow Blade. And uh, let's see here. He is going to step here and throw his shadow blade at this one that Amber Eye is uh, locked in combat with. And that means he rolls a this and 16 to hit. 16 is just enough. Beauty. Uh, 27 psychic. Oh, very nice. It is not immune to psychic damage. Um, which one was it again? This the, one right here? Uh, south one. Oh, south no, one. No, that one with Amber Eye. That's already bloodied. All right, gotcha. Uh, so, plus 26. All right. 27. At 27. As that hits, um, there's sort of a discharge of, like, uh, purple and pink energy, because that's what X-Men says that psychic energy looks like. Uh, and Pokemon. <laughs> 
Uh, the creature just sort of uh, turns to dust inside of its bandages, and they all just fall whoosh, to the ground. Nice. All right, well done, well done. Anything else uh, from Duskin? Yeah, he's going to kind of reposition back here, and uh, that'll be his turn. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Larionis. Okay, so I'm I'm restrained. What are my conditions here? Do I get another save? Restrained. I... Your movement is zero. Disadvantage to attack rolls. Disadvantage uh, or advantage on attack rolls against you. Hmm. <laughs> but I still have my actions and my reactions. right? Yeah, you can still uh, you can still move and do stuff. Um, at the end of this turn, uh, so you might want to make it good. Uh, you make another <laughs> save, and if you fail, you turn to stone forever. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Just to give you a heads up. <laughs> okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. He's going to, uh, I guess, well, he's going to try and stab this this uh, this mummy here. Because um, that's really what he's got. Uh, you said make it good. All right, yeah, critical uh, hit's uh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so 27, 29, 40 damage. 40 damage. All right. Yeah. Sorry. My math didn't get any better from last week. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You stab that thing hard, uh, with your silvered, uh, rapier. Uh, it is bloodied as you kind of just jam that thing up through its guts and out the top of its head. And then, uh, as you do though. You feel the rest of your body turning to stone. Oh no! All right, am I rolling a save? New Constitution save. All right, and oh no, inspo. He can do it though. No! (laughs) All right, you watch as uh, as Larionis turns to stone. All right, now what's a good stone looking? I'm a strong stone statue. All right. <laughs> Lars, okay. quick pose. You have two. Uh, you have two two rogues though. So now you have now you only have to worry about one. Uh, that's good. Uh, Gyoza. You were supposed to put Duskin out, not me. I yeah, <laughs> I roll my dice out on the table, my friend. Uh, Gyoza, you're up. Man, got nothing for that. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to run up to blue and cast Elemental Weapon. See if I can link it. It's not linking. How do I throw it up there from the spell sheet? Uh, when you're looking at your spells, um, there sh- you if you t- click on the uh, gear... There should be an option to go in and click, like, show details. Yeah. Yeah, and you click that on, and then the next time you click it, it should spam the um, description out. Uh, here, I'm in, wait, your, I'm in your sheet. Hold on. Wow, there's a lot of spells here. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I just wait till you see mine, buddy. Oh, wait, uh, well, both of ours are pretty bad. All right, let's see. Elemental weapon... It looks like you already have it open. Uh, oh, output. Yeah, you have spell card selected. Uh, let's see. There you go. Oh, I guess I'm just muted. I don't know. Oh. Um, all right, so what element are you giving him? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Lightning. Lightning's cool. Okay. So, so that has a range of touch, so that would have been 5, 10 mm-hmm. to get over here, touch them, and then uh, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll just move to here. Okay. Anything else? Um, is anybody damaged? Oh, no, I can't do anything anyway. Okay. So that was a spell. And concentration. Done. All right. Uh, blue is up. Let's see. Uh, Blue's gonna embiggen. 
He's got to move. Oh, he's got to move where he can embiggen, though. And she's in his space. Hmm. Not a lot of space to do that. Yeah. Here. All right. Yeah, but he'd provoke to move away. Um, he'll just fight. Mm. Yeah. All right, with his new lightning-infused sword, uh, how much extra damage is it going to do? Uh, D4. Just a D4. Got it. All right. Uh, and... Hmm? And plus one to attack rolls? That's an awesome spell. Oh, no. Elemental weapon is amazing. Uh, all right. Let's see. Especially if you know you're going to be in a long fight. Uh, here we go. One. Oh, there's a miss. Um, let's try again. <sighs> also a miss. No, wait. That's a plus one. So that hits. 16 hits. Uh, 21 damage. And then... An extra D4 lightning on top. So 24 damage total. 25 damage total because it uh, has a plus one bonus, right? Oh, no, no. no. Just it's just two attack rolls. Just, All right. Uh, yeah. So 25 damage on top of the 40 that was already dealt to it. Uh, it dies. Um, he smashes his sword into it. There's a discharge of lightning. The whole thing just turns to chalky stone and tush, the bandages fall to the ground. And with its death, the curse is lifted, and Lars becomes skid again. Aw, no. Uh, so, <laughs> Blue moves further in. Uh, owl. Of the Owl Union. You're up. You are frightened. Uh, the Owl of... is terrified. Yeah. You can't owl move, you can't move closer to any mummies. Um, he's just so, going to uh, fly up to okay. the ceiling. Up to the ceiling. Which, he, I guess he was already pretty high up. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Uh... Top of the round, Ias is going to use a bonus action to switch her Hunter's Mark over to something else. There we go. Mm, that one's dodging. We'll move here and we'll do the one that's on Marcus instead. There we go. Okay. So, two attacks from Ias. Uh, let's see. One, two. All right, second one hits. <laughs> All right, eight damage total. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Uh, that brings us to more mummies. Uh, this mummy is dead. That brings us to Amber Eye. Uh, Amber Eye. Uh, is gonna look at, uh, Larry and... Not knowing if this is a magical effect or not, I'm gonna try and dispel magic. Okay. On his petrification. And Larianus, the curse lifted, becomes skin again. Oof. Um. <laughs> yeah. This. Uh, I, I don't know if it works or not, yeah. which is why I'm trying. This spell effect uh, cannot, or this effect cannot be removed with a dispel magic. Well, now we know. Now you and know. Amber Eye is wholly confused. All does, right. does anyone have lesser restoration ready? Uh, or remove curse? <clears throat> Marcus, you're up. After you, four mummies. Alright, three mummies, because one of them's down. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, the good old switcheroo and I drop my sword at the ground and I whip out my wand Okay. and I shoot straight ahead of me uh, in this direction. Let me pull out the template there. Unless you don't care. I'm gonna I mean, maximize it's damage, always nice to pull out the template if you want to, but All right. no pressure. All right. Hey, I'll do it for you. Okay. Let me get that real quick. There's a beautiful statue down here you could destroy, so I, I'd like to see where the template gets. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, right down the middle. Okay, that's right. Uh, that statue. Before I, before and anybody rolls anything, are you maximizing channel divinity? This? Yes, okay. yes, channel divinity. All right. Uh, let's see. So that's forty-eight damage. Forty-eight damage. Here's the first dexterity save. Needs a fifteen. Uh, and the <laughs> second one. Oh, all right. Hey. Second one makes it. Hey, made it. Yeah. So twenty-four damage on the second one. Forty-eight. On the first one, it is bloodied. Alrighty. And then with that done, I will use my bonus action to command my spiritual weapon 
to come up here and whack him. All right. The one right next to me. Trying to hit a 16. Yep. Let's do that. Nope. Okay. Anything else All for right. Marcus? Nope. That's it. That's it. My turn. Okay. Do we do? We don't do flanking in this game, do we? No, we don't. Uh, plus two to hit. Oh, that would still only be a 15. I don't know if the owl counts. Uh, owl's uh, up by the ceiling, so here. yeah. And yeah, uh, the owl would have been flying. dead to the lightning if it. If, uh, he was in a position yeah. to help. And sp yeah. spiritual weapon is technically just a spell effect, but it, it would benefit from flanking, though. You are correct on that. Yeah. Oh. It wouldn't get opportunity attacks or anything else like that, but because it does require positioning, it can't give a flank, but it, I think it could benefit from a flank. That kind of makes sense, because it's, it's you no. making a melee spell attack. Yeah. Uh, we okay, we can always yeah. look it up at a later time, but we'll, we'll run it like that for now. Um, okay. Alright, Marcus. Uh, stone Fist oh, yeah, Mummy. It. It's going to raise a oh. Stone Fist. Alright. It's going to bring that Stone Fist down on blue. Uh, that is Ooh. 21. Uh, that is going to hit blue. Uh, blue takes 26 points of damage. That, that would have hit me. That's a really hard fist. And blue is going to try and make a constitution saving throw. Which he is very good at, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, he makes it. Yeah. Alright. Uh, this one next to Blue, he heard something about flanking, so he's going to move over here. Sounds good. He'll stop diving. <laughs> and he will attack with a plus two bonus. Here we go. 21. That's another hit. Uh, Blue takes 23 points of damage. Is bloodied. And has to make a constitution saving throw. And makes it. Alright. Uh, it couldn't get any worse than that. Uh, <laughs> this one's going to go... Uh, it can't reach... Uh, oh, there we go. It'll move here and attack Marcus. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, it double flubs it. Alright. Uh, Easy. Duskin, you're up. Do I have to get hit for Wrath of the Storm? I believe yeah, it hits so, me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Duskin seeing. Oh, no uh, it's a lot to keep track of. Okay. We got Marcus being gang beat. We got Blue. Well, Blue's flanked as well. Uh, okay, so Duskin's gonna use his bonus action to, like, well, chink his psychic blade comes back, and he will move one, two, fifth. 20 feet up. He's going to throw it at this one. Alright. And... Uh, go, go, Shadow Blade throw. 16, just 16. enough. Alright. And he does 23 psychic damage. Also against this bloodied one? No, I figured that this pillar might be giving some cover, so okay. he's throwing it at this one. Alright, that is a hit. Takes 23 points of damage. Yeah, and then he's going to uh, duck behind this pillar. Okay. And bonus uh, or cunning action, he's going to uh, to hide. Thanks to the magic of fifth edition rogues, um, pretty sure these mummies are going to have no. Yeah, they look around. Huh? What? <laughs> and you're just gone. You're just gone. Uh, those of you who have traveled with Larionis and Duskin long enough now, you don't know how the monsters keep falling for this shit. Honestly. Uh, it's the equivalent of like a little kid hiding behind like a floor lamp, uh, but somehow Duskin has completely disappeared from their uh, their radar. Uh, all right, Larionis looking hard. Uh, Gyoza, you're up. <laughs> um, guys, can I use necrotic damage on these? Oh, <laughs> ah. I mean undead, I'm probably gonna, not. I'm Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and toll the dead the uh, okay the bloodied one here. All right, it will try to make a wisdom saving throw. It fails. It takes no damage. Necrotic damage doesn't work, guys. You have discovered oh, okay. you have discovered their immunity to necrotic damage. And I'll good I'll just, job. Uh, I'll just uh, stand by. Behind the Larionis statue. <laughs> Alright. 
it's it's striking. It looks a lot like Larionis. Uh, almost exactly like him. Uh, Would my uh, rapier still be like? now statued but inside the corpse of the mummy in front of me that would be hype uh for sure you kind of oh, died you died doing the mummy? killing blow that'd be amazing what's the, what's the saving throw for the uh fear oh uh no... yes you should be trying that for your owl right get drop one from last turn okay uh let's see their fear it was only a dc 11 all right. Uh, so blue is going to use that thing that fighters do, where they get hit points back. Um, second wind. Second wind. There we go. Uh, so D10 plus his fighter level, so he gets back 12 HP, uh, and then he is going to attack the one uh, in between him and Marcus. Yeah. In fact, he's going to five e a snuffle on over to here so that he can get a flank from you uh, yeah here we go one uh, that is a miss there you go blue good job and that's a 14 two ah. hey that one hits because he gets nope. a plus one bonus yeah he gets a plus one from the sword oh no I'm sorry I'm thinking so. yeah I'm no worries <laughs> um, alright not a great turn owl you can try a new saving throw well, oh, no, no, sorry, you made it. So, yeah, Al can take his turn. Yeah, what are you going to do, Al? Um, he's going to, he's going to, I'm going to say, Doctor Who, distract them. And he's going to fly down on this bloodied one and take the help action. Help action, next attack against it will have advantage. All right. Uh, Aeus will, uh, Aeus will take advantage of that. Uh, so, let's see. Where is her character sheet? Here we go. I'm trying to train myself to do the whole like double click the name to minimize it thing and then have have the character sheets kind of minimized all over the screen rather than like clunking up my interface but like it, it's it's a struggle to learn new behavior all right 15 18 because the advantage that's a hit uh, nice. and uh, hundred mark damage. Th that one's also hunters marked uh, it is dead uh, as the arrow strikes it, uh, the creature shudders, uh, its insides turning to a chalky white stone, and it turns to dust. Uh, bonus action, she'll move the Hunter's Mark to this one, and same thing. Uh, but not hits. Alright, then she's going to use her speed. One, two, three, four, uh, five. So there. Alright, Amber Eye, you're up. Amber Eye is going to run right here and using his pack tactics because he's a kobold. Absolutely. And you're in his the dark. Pack. Everything is going you know, your way. Yes. Perfect fight. <laughs> uh, he's going to take some swing with his katana at the south one that he's close to. Yeah, that is a hit. Uh, and we'll do a bardic inspiration. Even though these guys uh, seem to be made of petrified bone, flesh, and bandages, when you hit that thing, blood just sprays out everywhere. <laughs> uh, so two two extra damage from defensive flourish. All right. Two extra AC. With the damage it had already back. taken, it is bloodied. Uh, alas, the second attack does not hit. Uh, nope. Anything else? And, Amber Eye. Uh, that is his turn. All right, Marcus, you're up. All righty. <clears throat> Quick swap. Dropping the wand, picking up my sword. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm casting... Uh, actually, should I even? Nah. I'm uh, going to start... Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to spiritual weapon on... Well, you can only move 20 feet, I think, right? Yeah. Move him right over here, go. I guess, and uh, I'll move right on up here. And bonus action, spiritual weapon, attack him. Do it. Creating your Let's own see. flank. 
That's right. Ooh, look at that. All right, that is a hit. Nine more damage. It is bloodied. Hell yeah. And then I'm going to hit him with my sword. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Oh, that misses. Oof. Okay. Anything else for Marcus? That's it. All right. Uh, let's see. This one right here to the south is going to go ahead and attack uh, blue. Uh, here we go. Ooh, 14 does not get through his armor. And he'll just hold his position. The one up there will attack Marcus. Here we go. Uh, 14 does not get through your armor. Miss. Duskin, you're up. All right, it's Duskin, like, uh, you know, like Matrix walks from the other side of the <laughs> pillar. Sure, sure. As he bonus actions and his, like, blade just appears in his hand. Oh, he man. He turns the corner and he whips it at this guy. This one looks like, around. Oh, wait, that's the blood. This one looks around. <laughs> Whoa! It has no That's idea. Right, I see him. There's blood in his eyes. Little do you know, that blood was actually an apt... Uh, Apparently. Uh, an apt. Yeah, 23 yeah. hits. For 27 psychic. To the face. Alright. Uh, let's see. It is still going. Oh, Duskin is not pleased with that. <laughs> um, however, that is, I believe, his action economy, with okay. the exception of turning back around the pillar and <laughs> being a sneaky little hider again with his cutting action. Oh, man. Huzzah! Where did he, where did he go? Um, all right. Anything else for Duskin? I think that'll be it. That'll be it, yeah. All right. Uh, plus Larionis uh, gives everyone a stoic look as he continues stabbing the mummy in front of him. Uh, Is it Gyoza, a you're stone up. cold? Oof. I was going to save that for the next round, but sure. Yeah. I've got my list of 100 puns to make when a character is turned to stone. <laughs> it, it was uh, recommended to lighten the mood a little bit because it could be a pretty heavy experience. <laughs> uh, okay, Gyoza, you're up. Don't worry, Lars. I'm sure someone has lesser restoration prepared. Uh, I'll just walk off. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Produce flame at the one that Marcus is fighting. Okay. I eagerly await the produ production of flame. Oof. All right, so you chuck some fire. Um, it kind of goes a little wide of the mark and tush, dashes against the stone. I'll step back. Uh, it's in turn. All right. Uh, blue. Blue is beat up again. Uh, blue is going to... Uh, it'll just stand his ground because he doesn't really want to go climbing on a bunch of uh, sarcophagi. Uh so he's got enough room to get big now but there's really no reason to get big right now so I think he's just going to keep using lightning axe or, or lightning sword he'll just make a regular great sword attack and still doesn't hit alright attack again oh. there we go hey. uh, with an extra d4 uh, thrown on there for good measure uh, yeah that's going to kill it All right, nice. so the crackling of lightning, uh, the creature turns to stone and then dust. And then blue rushes towards the next one. Owl, you're up. Owl's going to come over here, take the help action. All right. Uh, Ias will move over this way and then take a shot at that stone fist mummy. Here we go. Uh, that is uh, not going to hit and waste the advantage. Uh, try again. That's a hit. There we go. Oh, and Grr. since she didn't have to use a bonus action, she'll use Slayer's Prey as her bonus action to add a whopping two extra damage. So that's a total of 13. So it is still going. All right. Amber Eye. Amber Eye like some weird... Lizard ninja spins <laughs> spins around this the body of it. Brings up his sword. Oof. That 
that's nope weird. trying to hit a 16. I show it. too many spins uh you had flanking on that one so that one does hit oh so which one does uh the 14 because you have 21. a plus Pack tactics. Always oh, advantage. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it would have definitely hit then. Uh, so, three damage. Anything uh, else? And I, w I will... Uh, let me read what this one does again. How come Amber Eye doesn't have any... Um, Mods and damage? Or agility bonus to it. Uh, I think because he's... is a tank. Yeah, he's using a strength-based weapon. And he'll use a slashing flourish this time. Gotta get this little guy some, some ogre gauntlets. Extra, extra, extra eight points of damage. Oh, very nice. So a total of uh, eleven. Uh, how does he die, Amber Eye? Uh, Amber Obviously, like, he gets blood he, all over Marcus. He he jumps up and he like <laughs> he he, he sheaths the sword and then like real quick like takes it out trying to act real cool, but it just kind of like because he's weak as heck. It, like, digs into its face, and then he has to, like, saw through it, and then... <laughs> oh, so much blood. So much blood. All right. Success. Anything else? I think that's all the bad guys. Uh... Wait, what's Slashing Flourish? Uh, I'm sorry. Wait. Slashing is a uh, College of Swords. Uh bard thing. Oh, does it like add to your damage? Yep. Yeah, they use their um, all their stuff to do like fancy stuff with their swords. It's based on the blade, which is a, a kit from 2nd edition D&D. Um, kits were like the the first introduction of like, I don't know, subclasses or pathways or you know, whatever they came to be known later on. Prestige class. Um, but yeah, it's they're pretty cool. It's like you have. It's like a bard who is really good with swords. That looks like it'd be fun with like a swashbuckler rogue. Yeah, a lot of people like to mix in swashbucklers. Some people mix in hexblade. Um, yeah, yeah. But even even just straight out of the can, it's it's uh it's very good. All right. Ten fortunes. Yeah, it's in fortunes soloed a uh, ancient white dragon. So like it oh is. Yeah, it is very viable. It is very viable. Because with because with hex, think about it, with hexblade with hexblade you gain medium armor, uh, a shield if you wanted Shields. it, yeah, yep. and then the shield spell and then defensive flourish on top of that, your armor class could be yep. up up uh, over thirty. I think the highest he got it was like thirty two at one point. Yeah. All right, so that is that. Combat music dies down, and you guys can make sense of what has happened. <clears throat> Lars, Lars, can you hear me? I don't Immediately think go to pick up my one. <clears throat> hmm. But what happened to Lars? He turned to stone. Stop Lars! Being so hard, can Duskin roll an Arcana check to see if he has any idea Absolutely. as to what might uh, help here? Arcana, religion, or medicine would all be appropriate. Ah. Well, let me just medicine him up. Okay. 23. <laughs> Marcus, in your professional opinion, uh, Alarionis has been turned to stone. Ah, he's been turned to stone. Um, your knowledge of medicine and the world of Dungeons and Dragons medicine uh, tells you that normally petrification can only be cured with a fifth level spell, Greater Restoration. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Uh, huh. I'm not, uh, ninth level yet. <laughs> not Amber even close. Starts throwing some of the mummy dust on Larionis. Ooh, okay. Um. You throw mummy dust on him? That happens. Mm -hmm. Duskin will start searching this sarcophagi to see if there are any treasures and perhaps scrolls <laughs> or anything. Ooh. I, I have an idea. There was yeah. a cure, but it was like in the statue that Marcus Lightning bolted. Oh, <laughs> damn. No, no, don't say that. <laughs> Ember, I has an idea. 
Man, I'm They're nervous about tomorrow morning. This, this, this guy is tough. Um, <laughs> what was that, Amber Eye? Larionis only has stone shell, yes? Uh, no, 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 no. He's been turned he's into stone. Don't, stone. don't break him. Don't break him. <laughs> wait, I could just put him back together, actually. I have a spell that does that. Wait, 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 hang on. Wait, wait, wait. wait no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could just shape him back together with stone shape. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. No. Don't, don't do All right. That. Um, Duskin will suggest no. <laughs> I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're into this, but each sarcophagi uh, has exotic spices in it. That if you were to if you were to bag them up, it would be fifteen gold uh, per sarcophagi worth of exotic mm. spices. Amber, I, I mean, we're not going to pass up gold, right? Yeah, we gotta, uh, we gotta take it and, and put them in the bag for us. Okay. Yeah, let's just yeah. All right, thanks, Amber Eye. Right. Fifteen gold. Amber Eye, as you prices. were as you were picking up pieces of mummy dust to throw it at uh, Larionis, you did see a glint of something sparkly within the dust. Oh, geez, that would have had his attention first before anything. Oh, for sure, for sure. You had to scoop it up first, like finding a, a turd in a cat box. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yo Yoza will cast um, <laughs> as long as it's not concentration. Is it concentration? Ah, it is concentration. E Never mind. Each of the mummy's remains, um, if you can collect mummy dust, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, but each of them uh, had maybe what was powering them a 50 GP sardonyx. I think I'm saying it right. Yeah, sardonyx. So that's a hundred and uh, two hundred and fifty gold. Yeah, man, tomb ratings where it's at. Yeah, uh, Amber, I will just run around, gather them, and then hold them in the air for everyone to see. <laughs> nice, shinies. Uh, we can trade those for more diamonds when we have to. Bring Amber Lars back from the dead. Yeah, so oh. a sardonyx is an onyx which has white layers um, alternating uh, within it. Ooh. Pretty. Crash. Yeah. Quick question. Uh, what happens to someone that's petrified if their statue is broken? Mm. <laughs> With that medicine check, um, do you... Do you want to go into private chat to hear this, or are you okay with everybody knowing? Because you're about to yeah, hear yeah, some yeah, disturbing let's, let's information. Go. Okay. Secret. All I have to say private. is, if... All yeah, right. so it's generally believed that people who are petrified are still alive, and they still mm -hmm. have their senses. So being mm -hmm. petrified is considered one of the worst fates that could ever happen to you, because you are somewhat aware of your surroundings you're still alive but you cannot like really do anything you're just trapped there yeah yeah gotcha so if you were to break him um he he, he would you know, probably feel he, it he would yeah and then if he ever did get cured he'd die because he'd been shattered to pieces yeah Ooh. Yeah. So things like th that. things like a basilisk will turn somebody to stone and then eat them after they've been stoned. Gotcha. Yeah. So then, so then, super quick question about uh -huh. that stone shape. It's tr fourth level transmutation allows me to touch a stone <laughs> object of medium size or smaller uh -huh. and form it into any shape. Yes. If I were to <laughs> break it and then form him back. I mean, he would still be stone. You, you, the stone, yeah, stone shape would just allow you to change. You could change how he looks, and then when he gets turned back to normal, he would look like someone else. You could throw some titties on him or something. <laughs> like, like, but yeah, like when he comes oh, back, no. he'll still be the. He'll still, you know, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How much must he weigh? Like probably a shit ton now, mm -hmm. then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just curious. All right. That's all I want to know. Okay. <clears throat> huh. Huh. Hey, uh. hey guys, maybe we should uh, 
I don't know. Move Lars to a corner or something. Yeah, so Lars, wanna... how tall were you exactly? <laughs> uh, I want to say 5'5". Five, 5'5", five. Five, five. Five, five. so that's about uh, 60, uh, 65 inches tall. So let's see. You would weigh about 650 pounds. Jesus Christ. Alright. I mean, you, you just leave him a statue here until we find a means to restore him. Alright, let's go. See you, <laughs> <my Lord>. <laughs> <laughs> but what no, he's very important to us and we want... <laughs> we'll come back for you. We can't we'll really carry him around. Hey, hey, Crash, are all of the... Um, are all of the sarcophagi that are not covered with stones open? Because well, there's like five... I don't know. All right. So, are there any closed ones? ones popped out? Ho hold on, hold on. <clears throat> All right. So, this one that's half crushed and this one covered in spider webs did not open. Hey guys, maybe one of these has a cure inside. <laughs> <laughs> or, or another mummy. mummies. <laughs> did we, Probably did we, more mummies. Did we well, open I mean, the sarcophagi yet? Oh, let's let's just open this one over here. And well, do, do, if there's a mummy, the it has a sardonyx yet. in it. It's worth opening. Let's do it. Did we actually All look right. in the empty ones yet? <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, there was there uh, yeah, was fifteen. The there was fifteen gold worth of exotic spices no, in each okay. of the open sarcophagi. Yeah. Pardon me. Okay. And it was right. one sardonyx, you said? Each. Uh, each. For each mummy, uh, within the remains of the mummy, had a 50 GP sardonyx. That's nice. Okay. Hey, guys, let's let's uh, all Amari gather is, around yeah, this is one holding here. Onto those in, and open. Or he threw them in the back. I'm going to go back to Larionis' statue, and I'm going to put a hand on his shoulder. I'm going to say, I'm not going to leave you here, buddy. We'll come back. And I will go. Okay. Hey blue, blue, open, open this sarcophagus, and we'll all, um, if if a if there's a mummy in there, we'll kill it real fast, and if there's not, maybe there's something in it that we can use to piss. Ooh, ooh. there all might right. be tears in there. Where is crowbar? Blue yeah, wipes away a lot of the blood uh, that was smeared all over him from that last fight, and he all right, will everybody get ready. Attempt to open this up. Is that statue all destroyed? Takes out crowbar. Uh, the statue took some damage, but it was not completely destroyed. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's hey, see. Hey, what if giant spider comes out of that one since it is covered in webs? Uh, because he was using a uh, crowbar. crowbar, he manages to open managed. it. There is uh, a big old mummy uh, crammed into there. It does not seem to be moving, though. Well, let me uh, take out my sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walk up, and I'm gonna stab it. It's an orc mummy. All right. <laughs> As you stab it, uh, it's a crit, right? It does, if it's yeah, incapacitated, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to do anything. It seems to be an uh, an unanimated uh, mummy. Oh good. Hey, hey Amber, Eye, there might be another sardonyx inside it. Well, let's rip them apart. Marcus, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start Amber cutting Eye. and slashing them. Put Amber Eye in. <laughs> All right. Amber Eye uh, swim around. I, you begin swimming around in the mummy. Um, Amber Eye, give me a constitution save. <laughs> okay. Sure, nice. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you get a big lung full of mummy. It doesn't feel very good. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, tastes terrible. <laughs> yeah, uh, you do. Uh, you do eventually find the 50 GP sardonyx. Oh, that's Got good. It. Got it. Got it. Does Amber I cough up the mummy like it's a hairball? <laughs> and and 15 gold and exotic spices if you want to bag them up and not tell people where you found them. Yeah, he'll bag the spices and the and the. 
he, he like the first thing that pops out is the sardonyx so everyone good lad are we are we opening this one next uh there might be a mummy in it i don't know <laughs> but uh there <laughs> might be i mean it's Amber, I... Well, we might be another sardonyx all resurrections that we're doing Sure. He, he, yeah. Exactly. He's using three hundred gold over and over. True. Ember is very dusty. All right. All right. Rip and it open, Blue. He shakes the dust off next to Yosa. It smells good because of all the spices and stuff. Um, you know, for corpses, these are very fragrant. Um, in Ember, the, I, yeah. It smells pretty. Uh, this one, much of the same. There is another mummy in here, but it did not activate. No, stab him a few times, by the way, just to be sure. Sure. Ember, I wait for Marcus to finish <laughs> before you get in. <laughs> there we go. Some right. good stabs. <clears throat> Rinse and repeat. Ember, I jumps in, swims around, <laughs> finds the sardonyx and the 15 gold and exotic spices. Do I need to make another con save? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pops out again. Shakes it off. Uh, right. Well, we're very rich now. I suppose we should all pick up a corner of Larionis and head out. <laughs> no, let's uh, let, let's keep going. There may be something that can undo his petrification. We're not uh, sure. Is all of his equipment petrified too? Or yes. Is it just in... So, yes. Uh, guys, one thing to note. <laughs> Larionis is the one carrying the bag of holding that has all the loot. <laughs> Uh, no, no, including the right. adamantite yep yes i thought Amber blue I. had that blue has nope. the uh rod of vonadag right or no oh, yeah uh, yeah he, has um, the rod. He, he wields that when it's out of oh but you store it in there oh, okay yeah. dang so, the, yeah the only yes. one holding that is currently available is uh amber eyes cat backpack look at that it's a double larionis quest <laughs> God damn! So if we All want, right. if we want the group's combined treasure, you got to save I Larianus. Am. All right. Oh so my God! <laughs> it's how I make hey, myself indispensable. Guys, Do guys, I'm gonna start some some initiative combat here, so y'all move up too. All, All right. right. I'm Wait, are we can bringing? We... Are we bringing? <laughs> are we? Are we, we can't. Bringing... We can't bring him. He's too. We heavy. can't bring Larry. So he's we'll too heavy. We'll have to come back for him. What yeah. if Amber I turned into something? No, let's. It... We'll just come back for him. Yeah, we'll just come back for him. Mm -mm. Amber I will run over to Larionis real quick. <laughs> and... What's he... What? What? <laughs> what are you don't, doing? Don't do it. Don't. And let's just don't... leave him here. If you try to pick leave... him up and you fail, he's and... gonna die. And he's gonna leave... break. Climb. He climbs onto the the giant corpse of the thing, the mummy, so he can reach. Okay. And he he puts the the fiery wig of short plant platinum blonde <laughs> hair on the stack. God damn it! All right, Larry. You just will not let me not be. Here. You are the only light in the darkness now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh. Well, why? Okay. <clears throat> he couldn't get Lotus to wear it while he was actually you know, alive and conscious. But he managed to find a way. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm so <laughs> sneaky. Let's go. All right. So hey, for, blue, blue, further blue. in, let's see. Mm. Statue. <clears throat> All right. Uh, nice to must have hit that earlier. I have some delicious flavor text I'm supposed to read. Maybe? Uh, let's see. Uh, opens up into a larger chamber. Two stone statues uh, face uh, opposite each other. One faces you, the other faces a mighty stone door on the other side of the chamber. Leading out of the chamber are four passages, two to the north and two to the south. From the south, you hear people speaking mostly in Chondathan, uh, and you hear the rattling of bones. 
Mm. Blue, blue, get up here. <clears throat> blue is like stop, I don't stop spacing out. I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna I'll I'll cure wounds him a couple times. Okay. Until he feels better. Amber I will also give him a cure Amber I will go and hug him for a cure wound. Since you guys are not making any effort to be stealthy, uh, you hear a voice call from the south. Uh, is someone there? Is Blue someone there? <clears throat> Look uh, out! There's skeletons! There's skeletons in here! Oh, uh, well, sounds like there's other people in here. You guys want to... <clears throat> hey, Amber, hey, I want to know feeling? if you're a skeleton. I'm going to yell back, do you need some help? Uh... Uh, you hear other people uh, kind of yelling you and yes! Alright, well, you let's scaling? go. Oh. Let's go, guys. Come on. Alright, as you start to head into uh, the room, you do see that there are, in fact, some skeletons. Ooh. Those look pretty... Will make them lead. Those skeletons pretty look hey. uh, much tougher than your average skeleton, I would say. Hey, yeah. hey guys, back, back up a little bit. Uh, you don't need to get that close. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and roll me some initiative, uh, please. Uh, oh man, that's not a good initiative roll. I never roll well. I don't think I've rolled well on initiative uh, more than like five times. <laughs> honestly, it, it seems to be linked to the character themselves if you roll good on initiative or not. Hey, Crash. Uh huh. Did you see the 16 I gave to Blue? No. How did you give Blue a 16? Six, 16 hit points. Oh, okay. Uh, I gave him a, a second level cure wounds. Anybody else heal him? Uh, yeah, I gave him 15 for my cure wounds. Alright, 16 and another 15. He is no longer bloodied. Hey, Blue, how you doing? Uh, I'm f I feel much better, thanks. All right. You okay, or you need another one? No, I, I should be fine. Mark, uh, troll Marcus. What? What? Amber, I doesn't know how to refer to you now that you're. <clears throat> Marcus uh, is okay. You, you are. You know what? Only you are able to call me <laughs> troll. You're the only one. I'll let you do it. Do I? Should Should I? Turn into big beast. Yeah, sure. That sounds cool. Giant, <laughs> giant club tail. Yeah. What? Yeah, sure. <laughs> that was pretty much my reaction. Yeah. What? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I am at, as I imagine Amber I being a reptile only knows how to turn into like dinosaur and or reptilian things. All right. These uh, skeletons. They. Uh... Yeah, they kind of rattle their bones, and you hear the uh, exploration music fade out, and the sound of combat music fade in. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty good prediction. All right. Uh, this one brought to you by Amber Eyes, and their um, dun dun, whatever instrument that is <laughs> foresight <laughs> foresight drums oh okay you said foresight i was like man that'd be a painful instrument to play um all right i believe first up is duskin okay. and, and doc doctor who's gonna be like hey duskin look out behind you uh, can he talk no, I don't know. he cannot. He can't. So, so it's no. just like, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, oh, he can. He can talk oh, to can you to to, uh, telepathically. Oh. Yeah, the only the only familiar oh. that could talk is like a parrot, a raven, like things that would normally be able to talk. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Retcon that. Look out behind you. <clears throat> Do we know where the Randley Skellingtons are coming from? Uh the south. Oh, okay, <clears throat> that's what I thought. Okay, so Duskin is going to. Ooh, Marcus, uh, Amber, I, and Duskin, you guys can see some very well-designed dynamic lighting uh, bars. And on the other side of them, uh, many people. 
at least a dozen or more. <clears throat> they yeah, uh, they all they all appear to be uh, prisoners. So they they, they, they have their clothes, um, but they don't have any weapons uh, or armor or anything. Well, actually, uh, let me wreck on that. Uh, they don't have their weapons, but they some of them do have armor. All right, go for it. Oh. All right, so okay. before I act, uh, Duskin had been stealthing from back here, but that was while we were exploring this room. I don't know what, if he would be considered stealth still. So I'm going to cunning action him um, as a stealth as he presses against the wall and peers in. <clears throat> and can just barely see a figure. And this is honest. I see a figure here outside yeah. of the cage. And I can't see any detail on what it is. So he's going to basically take a shot hoping it's not a person. Considering he sees the people in cages. Yeah, it's a risky so, move. But one you're willing to take. <laughs> that's very true. Um, would I be considered hidden for the shot? Uh, yes, this uh, mysterious entity does not have enough perception to beat a 28. If it did, I would be very worried for you. Yeah, Duskin is a beast when it comes to stealth. <laughs> All right, he's going to shoot a bow at it. Oh, uh, that most uh, assuredly is a hit. And he does 25 but of the piercing. And uh, he's just literally going to let that out and then tuck back against the wall. All right, that is a total of what twenty-five damage. I'm looking it at it is. All right, it is bloodied. Yeah. Oh. Well done, well done. Amberai, it's, it's to you now to finish the job. All right, Amberai, it's to you now. Uh, Amberai just runs in thirty feet. <laughs> Oh, Amber Eye, there are a lot of skeletons. Uh, Amber Eye's got... <laughs> some of the people take... cry... Some of the humans uh, cry out, uh, It's a kobold! And then <laughs> someone else is like, it, That's that's the least of our problems. <laughs> and then Amber Eye, and this is entirely up to you if I can do this crash, uh -huh. is going to polymorph into an ankylosaurus. Yeah, that works. Uh... I'll be honest, I don't think I have an Ankylosaurus miniature on hand. So, you're just going to have to get a, a regular Ankylosaurus. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just a huge creature. Alright. With a club tail. <laughs> what would its stats be? Uh, they're pretty uh, good. Ankylosaurus should be appearing any time now. Just waiting for roll 20. There we go. Hey, there we go. I'm so sorry about that ankylosaurus. Oh. Uh, let's see. I will give you access to its character sheet real quick. We'll say uh, Claw uh, Yili Matar uh, had purchased one as a guardian or something. That that works. <laughs> because they are most assuredly not indigenous to the region. <laughs> all, all he knows is reptilian creatures for all his right. polymorphs. <laughs> get, was it, get a good look at it. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, whoa, whoa, can you wild shape into dinos? Yeah, they're beasts. Yeah, if I, if I see um, it, and, but there's a, a CR limit. Yeah, that's pretty strong. This thing is probably higher than that for sure. Or your limit. I don't think I can attack anything after that. If you don't have any speed that, left, and you used your action to polymorph, it was so yeah. Right. yeah. So that's all, I, that's all I got right now. All right, and you are, of, this is a concentration just, spell to polymorph. Now yep. remember, now that you have polymorphed, this isn't wild shape, you now have an intelligence of two. Yep. <laughs> I, I need you to oh, roleplay a two intelligence Ankylosaurus that, that has that found itself in a dungeon. All right. That is the end of Amberai's turn. Uh, Uthgarth's, yeah, Uthgarth's skeleton is going to go. Uh, that's exciting. I just uh, let out like a... Uh... <laughs> Alright. Trying to see if I'm missing anything. He's going to start hitting us. 
Uh, no, I mean, even in, specifically in, know who your friends are. Yeah, an animal would know who its friends and enemies are. So don't don't worry about no. that one. Yeah, like I know the people in the cage are the people we're trying to save, quote unquote. And I know my friends are behind me. All right, Uthgart skeleton. I close the character sheet. Ugh, I'm gonna build these habits eventually. Uthgard Skeleton is going to stumble forward. That's not very nice to say stumble, but that's what he does. Shamble. Uh, shamble. There we go. <laughs> way better. Uh, yeah. It's going to move up. And let's see. I think it'll try. It's... Nah, you know what? It's just going to fight. Uh, two great sword attacks. Here we go. One. And two. Wow. The second one misses. All right. The first one. <clears throat> ten, ten piercing. What? Oh, no, it's supposed to be slashing. Sorry. This adventure came with uh, extra monsters, um, but they weren't in roll 20, so. And I do have to make a con save. Yep. Uh, the DC minimum is 10. Man, it's a good thing I am more caster. There you go. And you use its con stats, right? Yeah, you would use the constitution of whatever oh. form you're in. But uh, it's so probably minus it, one. Okay, seventeen still works. So, all right, owl, you're up. Doctor Who, just stay there. Keep a lookout. All right, Doctor Who spins its neck eerily around, trying to watch all four other entryways into the room. Uh, number 14. Uh, so number 14 will move up. Mm. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5. And with flank, it will attack you. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, that's a 10. And a 12. Uh, both miss. Alright. That brings Clinking us off the armor. to 13. Uh, the owl lets out a hoot hoot of warning uh, because a dude has entered the room from a different hallway. Uh, let's see. It will take a dodge action. All right. Is's turn. Is is going to move to, we'll say here, foot of the statue. She will use Slayer's Prey uh, to mark that guy. And... No, wait. She'll mark the one that's fighting uh, Amber Eyes. There we go. And go ahead and uh, attack. Uh, let's see. Two shots. Here we go. Oof. That's terrible. Um, and that will be her turn. Alright, a lot of skeletons down here. Must be, must be doing something important. Uh, here we go. This guy's gonna move, and then he will dash to get right up on, uh, this big dinosaur thing. This uh, one. And this bleat, one. Whatever, <laughs> whatever sounds. Will dash as well. Marcus, you're up. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I will move right up. Um, hmm. I'll move right here. Okay. <clears throat> Flip my good old trusty sword around in hand. Notice, wow, that's a lot of people, actually. Yeah. And uh, start beating this guy. With, actually, actually, I'm going to cast... <clears throat> After I flip the sword around, I'm holding it by the, by the blade. Uh-huh. Because I intend to hit him next time. I'm going to cast uh, Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians, okay. Yeah. Um, and, to, uh, to confirm, Duskin, are you hiding right now? <clears throat> uh, no, because technically he took his shot after he rolled his stealth. So okay. Be, that, no, that's uh, beneficial yeah. to you. Uh, trust me. 
<clears throat> All right. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna recon that. I'm sorry, okay. Crash. Sure. What are you gonna, I'm gonna do? Recon that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna just uh, attack this guy with the blunt end of my. All right, go for it. The pommel. <laughs> and uh, let me throw that first. Yeah. Six, yeah. Does Sixteen that plus hit? two, eighteen. That is a hit. <clears throat> cool. That's bludgeoning. Okay. Um. I'm gonna use my. Does he take any extra damage by chance? Wink, wink, uh, yeah, wink. yeah, yeah. You you have remembered awesome. your earlier uh, Fisher Price, my first adventure uh, times <laughs> with skeletons. Uh, it does take extra damage from bludgeoning. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cast a spiritual weapon. Okay. Uh, and it's gonna be placed and attack. Let me uh, grab it right it was... here. And it's going to attack uh, this one right here. Oh, all right. Or three damage, if that hits. Uh, that definitely hits. <clears throat> Alrighty. And that's my turn. All right. Good action economy. Uh, let's see. Skeleton number seven is going to leave whatever it was doing and join the fray. Uh, let's see. And it will take a dash action. All right, another skeleton going on a seven. Uh, it will move up and attack the dinosaur. <laughs> all right, 21 for 14. Uh, all right, uh, go ahead and give me another concentration check. Are you telling me that Amber Eyes has a better... Uh, Constitution than a dinosaur. Yes, he does. Wow. All right, uh, you managed to maintain. No worries, because it's ten or half the damage, whichever is higher. Okay. I don't know how to set the the dinosaur to advantage. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. All right. Uh, that's a 17 for 11. And, uh, oh my god, uh, a 20 for 8. So, so total 11, 19? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh, but you roll each concentration check separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this. Uh, do we want to take the 19 as the advantage on that one, or do I roll it? Yeah, I mean, we'll you, have, you have Warcaster, so you always take advantage. Yeah. Okay, well then, yeah. 19. Honestly, like, ga like, the tools are here. The best way to play is just to always have that stuff turned on. I mean, everybody's, like, on the ball, you know, to take the first number if you don't have uh, disadvantage or advantage. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I see. What, you're just, I saw that now. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you could do that with the with a, an animal sheet. Mm -hmm. No, they're all I all my games. Everything defaults to that. The players go in and for whatever reason turn off auto advantage, which drives me crazy. But you know. Yeah, same. Uh, all right. So number five needs to go. Number five is going to rush out of the room. Uh, it will go to here, and then it will take a dash action. Uh, to get to uh, Aeus. There we go. Alright, that brings us to Gyoza. Alright. All these Marcus, skeletons. You say bludgeoning is good against skeletons. <laughs> bludgeoning! Yeah. Uh, Alright. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs looking like they're ganging up on him. Because <clears throat> he's I've a dinosaur. A uh, I've got a plan. Uh, enlarge? No, <laughs> no. Better plan. Sorry to interject, but I just discovered that when you change who you're speaking as in the chat, it changes your portrait in Roll Twenty. Oh, that that's got to be new, right? I I don't ever remember that before. Like, look, I'm in Acid Line now. Oh. I don't have I don't have anybody's um, pictures turned on, so interesting. Huh. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. 
I just noticed it because I saw Duskin's picture in my spot because I've been <laughs> switching to him so at least the rolls show Duskin rolling. And I'm like, that's not Larianus. What is, what is, what uh, is attempting our giant to snake? constrict this snake right here? Okay, that snake Between is trying to constrict somebody. Yeah, yeah, the okay. okay. that was right there. It's on ground. Okay, uh, yes, these guys are all wearing um, ancient splint mail and using great swords. So that's an armor class seventeen. Um, that they are all rocking. We oui. ah. all right. All right. Anything else from Gyoza? That's it. All right. Blue is going to Inbigin. Uh, and then he is going to have uh, Flank. Oh, wait. That's the snake. Uh, he's trying to get the skeleton. He will Inbigin. Uh, and move here. No, wait. The statue's in the way. Damn it. All right. Hold on. <laughs> he just wants to get to these guys. Uh, all right. Blue says, before you finish your turn, move five more feet. I go, okay. No, that's not what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see. He's got a 30-foot speed. Oh, man. Come on, Blue. Um, you know what? He would be able to get to here. He'll just go to here. Uh, and he will attack twice. Fighter's very complicated. Oh, okay. Uh, one. And a two. Ugh. Oh no. There are no rolls tonight for this kid. Um, he gets he gets plus three. Oh, that's still not enough. What's he get plus three for? Cause oh, because the, the flanking, yeah, flanking from weapon. you and then the magic weapon. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so yeah, so a 16, a 16 yeah. is not enough. All right. Uh, Good thing we don't have a magical sword. Ten. Yeah, thank God you didn't pick that sword up. Whew. Uh, so this person <laughs> runs up to the door, and she's just like, You! You're a bringer of, uh, Lathander, aren't you? I, uh, I am. You gotta get us out of here. Well, I mean, I intend to, but first I have to clear these skeletons out of the way. Uh, let me free! Give me a weapon, I'll help you! Oh, shit. Um, how do we break this free? There should be keys on one of them. One of them has the keys. Or, I don't know, pick the lock, uh, smash it. <laughs> okay. I'll do my best. All right. Uh, Duskin. Oh, stand back. Oh, okay. <laughs> stand, stand back from the gate. They will all back up. Okay. There's a there's like a helicopter woof, woof, woof sound <laughs> as, the, as the ankylosaurus tail starts going. Yeah, I want them to get the hell away from that gate. I'll where, blow it where, open. Where is the uh, is the lock obvious? On like <clears> as <throat> where? Oh, no, it's yeah. good. I got it. Yeah, I'll the, take care of it. the doors. Uh, the doors, the gates. Sorry, the the gates and the and the doors. They seem to be um, recent additions, and they're definitely created with like salvaged um, metal and stone from other places in the dungeon perhaps or the the other parts of the ruins um but they are sturdy they are well built and they are reinforced with much chain uh sort of wrapped around and um binding it in place uh it does look like there is a central gate that can be opened and closed to take out prisoners now she looks fighting fit uh this dude looks fighting fit and there's a couple other people who look like they haven't totally been beaten to, to within an inch of their life or starved to death. But for the most part, uh, they all look like they're in really bad shape. Mm. All right. So, Duskin, gotcha. what are you going to do? Okay, so... I'm just uh, looking at his special mage hand thing. Uh, Ooh, is he a thief? He's an arcane he's an ar trickster. Yeah, he's an arcane trickster. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's nice. the hot build of quarter four, two thousand nineteen. Is uh, right. It's arcane trickster. Okay, so he's going to uh use his. Oh, okay. So he's going to use his action to cast Mage Hand. All right. And uh, so says uh. 
And then because of his arcane trickstery, uh, so item interaction, he's going to put his thieves' tools in the mage hand. Okay. Now, your and mage then... hand is normally invisible uh, as an arcane trickster, but I will give you a token just so we can keep track of it. Sounds good. And then what he'll do is, with his mage hand leisure domain, he can use his cunning action uh, to control it, and okay. he's going to send it 30 feet, or I guess 25 feet it needs to move, to there. Okay. And uh, and he's going to thieves tools the lock. All right. Well, that's a lot better of an idea than me using Shatter on it. <laughs> uh, ab absolutely no problem whatsoever. He uh, he levitates his tools over there and snickersnack. Uh, the big honking lock, looks like it came out of a Zelda game, uh, pops open. Uh, and now the chains can be removed and the gate can be opened. And now he's going to even though this is the negative part of what he's doing, he'll incur an attack of opportunity because he's going to dive through Gyoza <laughs> okay. away from this thing. Absolutely. Uh, that thing uh, is yeah, it's just going to raise the sword above its head, He-Man Skeletor style, and just bring it down uh, in a big, broad slash uh, overhand. Here we go. 16? Oh, 17. All right, you just roll out of the way as the sword comes down, sparking off the stone floor. Oh, and he has 35 speed, so he can actually clear it to here. Booyah. All right. He would take another attack from this guy right here. Yeah, you rolled right past another dude. Oh, well, hey, you know what? That's All the right. risk of battle. Here so we go. I guess he did. And uh, also misses. All right. <laughs> Easy, dude. One, two, and then you roll back to your feet. Uh, you look over, and uh, she's sort of like breathless, watching uh, watching you go. Yeah, that's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those I mean, movies where the people say, right? like yeah, it's like the movies where the people body swap and like they say shit that they would never actually sh say. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> But the best is like Lars would never do that either. This is how this is how Lars thinks of of Duskin. He's such a show off with his oh, it's like, it's like a very <laughs> image of different people. Amber, I, uh, speaking of people who are too many people in one body, it is your turn. Because now he's a dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, Amber I is just like gonna. He was gonna break the door down. Mm -hmm. uh, and then some jingly jangly things came and walked up or showed up. And, uh, then ah, two intelligence. So, Roll so for it. So he's gonna break the door down. All right. <laughs> yeah. And your tail reaches ten feet. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. So it's already unlocked. So when you smash it with your tail, it is done. Skis. Uh, no problem. Uh, all the people inside mm. scream in terror, but they also cheer. All right. Uh, I don't know how how practical this is because I have a move action. Can I like steamroll over some of these? Uh, like, yeah. Do you, like, do you have roll. do you have any more ta um, actions left or? Uh, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Then it's just my move action. Yeah. Then you would just be kind of like trampling like over them, but. It would just be normal, five, you know, five E. I'm a huge creature. I can move anywhere just I want. Just kind of drop thing. prone on top I, I of them. I don't. I don't have. Much. Yeah. <laughs> if you I if you have... wanted to, as like an improvised action on your next turn, uh, try to like roll over a bunch of them. I would totally be okay with that. Using your whole body as an improvised weapon. Sh sure. Now, actually, that that's a good good thing to bring up. As polymorphed, I don't get my extra attack from my. Correct. You you just yeah. are in that form. Yep. Okay. Uh, in that case, nope, that's it for now. Okay. Uh, so, door smashed. And he looks back at Marcus and gives, like, the derpiest of Ankylosaur smiles. All right. <laughs> Marcus, Good he, job, he gives, Yeah, he gives, you a, he gives you a big derposaurus. Big derposaurus <laughs> face. <laughs> and as he's giving you a big derposaurus, um, Opportunistic Skeleton is going to go for it. That's uh, a his name miss. <laughs> 15 uh cuz of flanking and uh, uh oh 15 hit yeah and an 11 and then owl you're up 
Uh, and then Anchorosaurus, right. drop Ow. a concentration check real quick. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Owl, what are you going to do? Owl's going to come over here and help action. All right, help action against this thing beneath the snake. Got it. Ankylosaurus sheds a single tear of pain. Yeah, it's starting to hurt over there. Um, this one will turn its attention to the hateful and horrible cleric of Lathander. Undead, they hate this guy. Find out why. Uh, number seven is my oh, favorite my reason. Talk. Yeah. Um, all right. So it turns to attack you, Marcus. One and two. Uh, you block ting, both. and then your shield tong as you block both of the uh, great sword swings. You hear some of the people cheer, "Yeah, Lathander, yeah!" Uh, from inside their cells. All right. I smile and uh, I flick my uh, my bangs to my side as they got a little <laughs> ruffled there. All right, defensive Skelly moves in uh, to position. Uh, he drops his uh, dodge. I think he's moves 15 whole feet. Uh, so he could go 15, uh, 20, 25. No, nope, he can't get through the snake. So he'll just, well, it's just difficult terrain. He wouldn't be squeezing. So yeah, he'll move there. And then I guess he's, yeah, he's got a flank. He's opposite his buddy and there's snake in between. Uh, here we go, snake. Oh, man. Them rolls tonight. Uh, he just brandishes his sword in a threatening manner. Arr! Arr! Oh. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, retcon, because he had a plus two, and that second attack hits also. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. The, those, those attacks uh, are against the 15 and the 13s? No, no, no. Yeah, that was against... Uh, no, oh, that I'm was against sorry, Marcus. Nine. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, AS is going to go. Or IS. Uh, she is in melee right now against this dude. Uh, she really didn't want to drop her bow. Uh, Head by. But she will. Uh, so she'll drop her bow. And she will stab twice, three times with short sword. Here we go. One, two, three. If she gets three attacks? If she did an offhand one, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> uh, only one of them... No, two of them hit because uh, of flank. All right, so it takes 13 points of damage. Uh, and that will be her turn. Nice. And 13 is enough to bloody it. Oh. Nice. All right, <clears throat> that brings us to skeleton number 10, of which there are a, a few... Uh, oh. And that'll use up the help patch. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, then all three hits. Uh, right? Oh no 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 no! Uh, yeah, no, no. she would have. The, she had the flank. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this one will move up to here, and it will just attack. Uh, blue. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think a 20 hits blue, but he'll use that ability he has as a reaction that reduces people's attack rolls. And he's a... Uh, I forget which one it is. It's like Rune of You Can't Hit Me. Um, <laughs> it's one of them. Defensive runes. There you go. You invoke your runes uh, when another creature... Oh, it has to be another creature. Okay. Uh, never mind. So he will be hit by that attack. Uh, which sucks, because that's 15 points of damage. Alright. In that case, uh, number 9 is going to go. Uh, and the number 9 is... Uh, yeah, it'll move to the other side. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it'll make it to there. There we go. Uh, all First right, and all right. So nine yeah, more damage, and then Marcus, you're up. <clears throat> there we go. 
Uh, all right, I got a I got a bit of a loaded action economy here for you, all right, buddy. Do all it, right. do it. You tell me if this works out. All right, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna say out loud to the people who are locked up. Anyone who can fight, and I'm gonna toss my sword behind me right here. Oh dang! And I'm gonna say, uh, uh, pick up the sword, and I'm also gonna grab my with my item interaction, grab my crossbow, my bolts, and toss them on the ground with it as well. Okay. And then. Is so always that that's that's just action item interaction. Right, that so was a far, drop right? and an item interaction. Yeah, keep going. Yep. All right. Then I'm gonna cast Guardian of Faith. Okay. And okay. I'm gonna put that right here. What does your and Guardian of Faith look like? Well, so from what the description says, it's a gleaming, uh, indistinct, uh, except for a gleaming sword and shield. So I imagine. It is, it's like some figure that's like, uh, you can't make out any features or mm -hmm. whatnot that like stands proud and whatnot with its blazing sword and shield, uh, christened with the mark of Lathander <clears throat> on the shield. Blazing sword. It's full Yeah. Time. Yeah. And, uh, I wanted to be right here. Okay. And I had a question about that real quick. So we'll so, just go ahead and maybe make a bigger spiritual weapon then? Yeah, it sounds okay. sort of yeah, right. It's, it's a large, it's a large thing. There you go. Yeah, it, yeah, it's 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 large. So yeah, right there. Okay. And um, it says, so it, is it any creature within ten feet, or does it have to move within ten feet of it? So like, would these guys be subjected to it, or yeah, any what, creature hostile work? to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the guardian. So I gotta turn on a um, aura for the guardian real quick. Okay. All right. <clears throat> there we go. All righty. Okay. And uh, so let's so, see. Any creature hostile you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the guardian for the first time on a turn. Uh, right, so if they stay where they are, they're not moving to the space. So yeah, it's moving into the space that's the uh, that's the trigger. Um, I had somebody okay. use this a lot in uh, Tomb of Annihilation. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. This is actually a pretty beefy spell, If but okay. If, I see. Yeah, right. if you can lure them in. It, it's basically like a wall spell almost, in so much as yeah. like, yeah, people will just m be munched up going through it. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Um, then I'm going to leave that there, and then on spiritual weapon, this guy, so let me roll that as my bonus action. Sure. Uh, 14 doesn't hit, I assume. No, Unless these, these guys are count that as like... 17 uh, armor class to hit these guys. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right, that's my turn. All right. Big moves. Let's see. Up top... Uh, we've got this one right here. It's just going to, uh, move up and attack this snake, I guess. Uh, here we go, snake. One. And a two. Uh, 22 and change hits for seven. Alright. And they give you a concentration check. Uh, back down here, we got another skeleton on a seven. Uh, let's see. All right, uh, uh, dinosaur. This is for you. Here we go. One and a two. All right. Second one doesn't hit. First one hits for thirteen, though. Yeah. So that drops me out of dinosaur form. Okay. And whatever's left over goes to your. Yep. Uh, goes other to my form. regular form. Uh, and I will whip, whip, whip. Let me get rid of dinosaur. Okay. Uh, Super Mario shrink back down next to Marcus, and I take I took thirteen, nine, uh, so I take. Four. All right. Uh, so, man, this uh skeleton. Hmm, I almost feel like. This is your first time using uh, the weapon or the um, sp the guardian. I almost feel yeah. like you would have been better off putting it like here, because yeah. then as they come towards you, they'll take the damage. 
Uh, you don't really yeah. want to use it where they already are. You want to use it where you think they're going to go. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Since this, I, this is a very oh. hard spell to learn. Um, so we'll do that. All right. Uh, in that case, this one is going to uh, move up to here and attack Amber Eye. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> one. And a two. Oof. Yikes. 23 and a 23. Eight and 14. All right. Back up top. Uh, five. Five is bloodied. Five is beat up. Five is in there with a snake. Uh, five is going to uh, hold its ground and it will attack the big... No, it'll attack the snake. Here we go. One and two. Alright, 14 and 14. I don't know if that hits. Uh, uh, 14 hits. Alright. And then Gyoza, you're up. All right, how much was that? 19? Yeah, looks like it. <clears throat> and two concentration checks. Oh, no, he flubbed the concentration for the elemental weapon. Oh, okay. You're up, then blue, and then the refugees, prisoners, whatever the hell they are. All right, he's going to try and constrict uh, the bloodied one. Okay, go for it. You have a plus two to this. 19 is a hit. Uh, you grab hold of it's bludgeoning damage, uh, so that's t 16 doubled. It just, uh, just crushes in. All that's left is just loose bones inside of some ancient splint mail. Okay, good. All right. Anything else from Gyoza? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna get out of everyone's way. Okay. And move, move right here. All right. Uh, Blue is going to keep his uh, footing. He's got the bonus from you now because you moved into a good flanking position. He's not rolling too good, so he's going to avoid Great Weapon Master. He's just going to go with Great Sword. There we go. That's a hit. And a hit. And two hits later, the skeleton is destroyed. Nice. He, he nods to you in appreciation. He moves up here. Also... Um, go ahead and ignore that first attack against you, Gyoza, because he would have used his reaction to reduce the, uh, or to raise your armor class. Okay. I just keep cool. forgetting. I, I got a lot of characters to try to play, so. Uh, so, nine health back? Yep. Got it. Uh, alright. Refugees. Uh, this, uh, this dude's gonna come out, pick up your sword, and start fighting. Good lad. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a plus one sword, by the way. I gave him the good stuff. Uh, hold on just a sec. Does he? <laughs> I want to know the one person who's like, it's a cobalt. Amber, he should get behind me. <laughs> yeah, he's got that crazy look in his eyes again. No, you, you should really get behind me. So they could get beaten up by my thing. Alright. I have to change out his attack for your sword. Here we go. One. And he'll do it reckless uh, to give himself advantage to the attack roll. Ooh. That first one was 19. Yeah. Uh, also, Marcus. Uh, yeah. You have been uh, dynamite so far, so uh, go ahead and take DM Inspiration. You, oh, you, thanks, yeah. Um, giving them the weapons, uh, giving them hope with the uh, the summoning of this huge, like, angelic sword. Uh, this is the kind of stuff these people needed, so uh, well done. Throwing a dinosaur into the room. Yeah, it was, it was good. <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, this guy takes your sword, hits this dude for 13, it is bloodied. Uh, this lady right here uh, runs up, and she, she's like, give me the sword! Uh, and he does. And then... Pass the sword, <laughs> pass the sword around. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> and she finishes oh him my off. God. Uh, alright. Like, see, this is how you do it. Okay. Well done, well done. Uh, Marcus, why don't you give us your sword to do a sword around? <laughs> why can't we do that? 
this lady <laughs> right here, she moves up and she kind of uh, reaches for the crossbow uh, and kind of uh, pulls it uh, pulls it to her. Uh, I guess she'll go here. And, uh, and she she's the one who's like cobalt. All right, Duskin, you're up. I just Richard. totally forgot that was me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's just the thing that I am playing now. Sorry, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll use your fa your 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 fan uh, your fan ship name, uh, Dusky Onus. So <laughs> there we go. Dusky yeah. Onus. Oh, I hey, like just, it. Just so you remember, you can't see it, but there's a there's a guy right here. <laughs> there's two guys right here. He, he might be. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the giant snake might be blocking the the icon. I don't know. I, I see this one um, under the snake, but I, okay. I see this one with no cover. So uh, Duskin is going to uh, uh, shoot. Well, shoot it. Yeah, he's going to shoot it this one. Okay, go for it. Um, do, 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 boo, boo. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. And kabooey. That's a hit. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> one shot. Um, you just hit it right in the, uh, the skull. The skull just kind of caves in from the arrow, and the whole body just... <laughs> Like falls to the ground in a pile of bones. <laughs> I, I imagine like cartoon style. Oh, totally. <laughs> uh, he's gonna like kind of be shocked at the effectiveness of, of his his attack, and he'll uh, just grab, knock another arrow, and he'll just move back to get a better uh, view of the battlefield for his next turn. All right. Uh, um, that brings us to Amber Eye. Uh, Amber Eye lets out a little. <sighs> And uh, pulls out uh, where'd it go? Oh yeah, like his little piece of stone. Okay. And he's casting shatter. All right. Who are you? At uh, level. Oh, I think I see where you're casting it. There's a perfect cross pattern right there. Yep. <laughs> I can see it before oh. the template drop. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see what happens here. Uh, Not a lot of damage, but it's beef, thunder damage. Beefy boners. That's what they call these Uthgard skeletons. Uh, <laughs> if they're, you know, if they're real friendly. Uh, here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, uh, one of them made it. All right, so two fails though, uh, and that damage. Seventeen thunder damage. All right. Well done, well done. Uh, they are... Uh, two of them are bloodied. One of them is possibly bloodied. I have to see if he's been hit before. Nope. Um, <clears throat> but still, good good attack. Uh, and then he makes like weird velociraptor noises. Yeah, still slightly and, in dinosaur mode. Yeah, and runs behind. You're going to run right here. All right, seventeen. Uh, seven. little, the little, the green dude will get an opportunity attack. Oh, okay. If yeah, if you move past him, I'll definitely take it. Yeah. Appreciate that honesty there. It's a lot to track. Uh, twenty-one oh, that, for eleven. That, Oof. Yikes. All right, this one is going to come forward to get you, Marcus, as it steps into the aura of your spell. It is utterly destroyed. Oh, gets to make a dexterity okay. save. Does it? I thought it just I thought it just took the damage. It, it, yeah, it's a it's a deck save and it's either uh twenty or half. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. One. Yeah, it only had it only had ten hit points left. So Okay. No, no. Or sorry, nine hit points left. So yeah, when it moves in it is destroyed. Alright. Owl, you're up. Uh Owl's gonna take uh, the help action on this one right here. Okay. Uh, next up, Skelly, it's in number 14. Uh, yeah, all right. It's already in, in the mix. Uh, it's just going to attack you, uh, Marcus. Here we go. All right. One and a two. <clears throat> Block both. All right. Uh, let's see. This one up here is dead. Uh, Ias. Uh, Ias sees that Gyoza is doing his thing. And that his owl's helping him. And he probably wants that advantage for himself. So she's, she's going to move <laughs> to here. 
uh, she'll mark this guy with Slayer's Mark, which is apparently a thing that monster hunters have, so they don't have to burn all their spell slots on Hunter's Mark. Um, nice. And yeah. You, and you can stack it. And you can stack it, which is cool. Uh, and she'll go ahead and shoot this one. Um, or at least she'll try to. So here we go. Open character sheet. You could do it. One and a two. Yeah. Seventeen hits. All right. Uh, for a total of eleven damage. And then she will kind of uh scuttle uh back into the corner here. All right. That one is now bloodied. All right. That brings us to uh, skeleton number 10, which is up here playing with the snake. Nope, it's dead. Skeleton number 9 is down here playing, playing with Marcus. With the chick with the sword. Or yeah. Marcus, yeah. Oh, that one already went. Oh, that's 14. Okay, there you go. Playing with the chick with the sword. Uh, so, as a berserker, she has a 13 armor class, but she was reckless. So, these attacks are going to be an advantage against her. Oof. All right, so she has hit uh, twice. She yeah, she has hit twice, and she did not have... Well, wait, it's 5th edition, so yeah, she'd have her hit points. Uh, she is bloodied. <clears throat> I was going to say, how, how would she have her hit points? But she would just use hit dice, Nadoi. Um, Marcus, <laughs> you're up. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to... Let's see here. I have a question. Sure. Uh, if I were to use inflict wounds with a improvised weapon, mm -hmm. would that work? Uh, I believe it's a s touch spell, so you have to touch them to do it. Uh, yeah, with inflict yeah. Wounds, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like, let's say if I were to like <laughs> attempt to beat this guy with my shield uh -huh. using inflict, wounds, would that work? Like, theoretically. Oh, no, nah, I mean, you have to, like, lay your... It's like your hands are covered with, like, magic, and you're passing the magic into it. It's like the it's like a lay on hands, but a nasty one. Mm -hmm. So you're, try, you're trying to grab a hold of them. But if for gotcha. flavor, you want to shield bash a uh, uh, necrotic... Uh, sorry, and inflict wounds, that'd be, that'd be fine. That'd be totally cool for flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so you trans, okay. yeah, you kind of load up the uh, negative or necrotic energy into your your fist, and then hit him with your shield, and just poof, through yeah. the shield. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, these are undead. Let me check how they yeah. feel about necrotic. Uh, they're just Reggie skeletons, though, so they take the full amount. Uh, hey. You accelerate um, time essentially, and the bones crumble to dust. Nice. All right. Well and, done. Well done. Uh, all right. Good. And then uh, I will. Hmm. Actually, what else can? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's spiritual weapon. Uh, let me move that dude right on over here okay. and uh, bonus action, cause him to hit. Do it. This guy right there. Let's see. Let me roll that. That is a wow. hit. Yeah, yeah f five more damage. Baller. All right. Yeah, and uh, I will stand right over here, and uh, I'm gonna tell them <clears throat> uh, to everybody. Uh, stay back if you can't fight. Uh, and I guess for the rest of them, uh, we'll tend to your wounds if we need to afterwards. Hey, okay. Marcus. Yeah. Uh, just a heads up, you may want to fix the way your spiritual weapon is rolling out because you, uh, you've only used one of the slots to, to cast it, but it keeps using your slots every time you read. No, no, yeah, I I, uh, I up the slot whenever I use it. Yeah, that happens, so it but it, you could make a macro for it um, to prevent that. I could, I could show you how to do that uh, between the end of this session and next session if you want. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sure. There'll be one less bookkeeping you have to keep track of. Uh, all right. So this one up here is just going to beat on the snake. One and a two. Uh, neither hits. Bring it on. All right. All right. And then this one down here uh, with a seven, it's still going. It's going to move in to attack Marcus. Uh, now it makes a dexterity save. 
Uh, it does pass, so it takes 10 yep. points of damage. Uh, yes, and 10. is a bloodied. 10 radiant. Just, I don't uh, know if that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's going to... Great sword, great sword. All right. <clears throat> That brings right. us to number five, who is up here and is dead. Gyoza, you're up. No one has taken your Birdo advantage. Gonna try and constrict the skeleton. All right. Uh, 18 constricts. Uh, that's double damage. It takes 24. It is constricted, grappled, restrained, and bloodied all at once. All right. Well done, all well right, done. That's my turn. Uh, Blue is going to move up, and now that it can't move, <laughs> uh, he's going to use Great Weapon Master. Uh, here we go. One. <laughs> oh, God. Two. There we go. Uh, and he's, yeah. And he smashes it. All right. He's just cleaning up the pieces now. Uh, there's no other guys hidden underneath you, are there? You're not hiding any more skeletons, are you? It was just that one up. <laughs> okay. Let me check. All right, yeah, there's that one. Blue gives you a pat on your snaky flank and starts heading down to help Marcus. All right. Beautiful. Uh, remaining barbarians. Um, she's going to attack with the sword. Uh, that is a hit for five. And that'll kill it. She passes the sword over to other barbarian. Uh, who rushes over? Not the hand. There we go. Uh, and attacks with the sword. Uh, reckless, but still doesn't hit. 15 is too shy of the mark. Uh, and then this chick who picked up the crossbow, she'll take a shot. And we'll just use the same damage. Uh, that is a hit for 14. And that finishes it up. It was a heavy crossbow, right? Uh, light, actually. Light, okay, so it'd be slightly less damage, but... Uh, that'll still do the trick. Oh god, she killed the wrong guy. There we go. <laughs> I think that actually takes out all the skulls, skeletons. Uh, yeah. Well done, guys. Nice. All right, combat over. Yep, combat is over. All right, gives a gives a ever wanting to feed people will come over <laughs> if he sees hungry people. <laughs> And he's gonna I take out buried. his three. He, he's gonna he yeah he's gonna cast a uh, good berry, and he, so he'll have thir uh, fourteen. He'll drop all fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to uh, the people. Amber, Amber is gonna walk up to the lady who got uh, absolutely smacked, and he's gonna hold out a hand to her. Okay. She looks down at you and looks at your hand. Hand. Give. Okay, she gives you her hand. Do you bite off her fingers, or...? <laughs> hey, cute wounds. All right. All right. Her Mark eyes kind of 20. widen in surprise, um, and she is no longer bloodied. Uh, thank you, little it's one. 20 back. And then he uh, does it to himself. Okay. Because he needs it. <laughs> hey, Amber, I hold on. I'll I'll fill this up. So this uh, spiritual or Are guardian we, of faith is gonna instead. it's gonna stay here for eight hours. So. <laughs> Just right in that spot. Nice. Yeah, it's it's gonna stay there for eight hours. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I don't know how to dispel it. It's not a concentration. It's pretty disgusting. But uh, I guess. Uh, Do you see Amber I Amber, I was big. I guess, uh, yeah, I want to come up and ask these guys, like, uh, what were you all doing here? Um, they all kind of share looks, and then um, the I guess the lady who started the conversation in the first part, or first place, says, um, uh, "We are all here for different reasons. Uh, my uh, my life mate and I, we were hunting." in these mountains and were captured. Uh, others have been taken from the roads uh, nearby as they traveled. Uh, 
There are two who came here seeking fortune and were captured. Um, and there are even dwarfs that were here uh, in nearby mountain caves, also taken against their will. Who's um, taking them? The skeletons? Yeah. Ah, yes, there are uh, many undead operating out of these ruins. Uh, the skeletons, the, the mummies, uh, there are worse undead, uh, I fear. Some uh, gargoyles as well. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> All right, well, y'all y'all are free, but on the way in, we, we heard and saw a black dragon. So if y'all want to leave, you better be careful. They all kind of look would, yeah. unsure uh, at each other. Um, we certainly would not want to leave only to be taken by a dragon, but most of these I people would, are not fighters. Uh, I would suggest waiting until daytime. It seems to... We've only seen it at night. I see. I see. Uh, most uh, of these people are in very bad condition. I fear that if they stay here much longer, they will succumb to disease and sickness. <clears throat> well, it's well, raining outside. Got, uh, Give them a bath. <laughs> get, get a shower going. <laughs> we've got we've got food and we've got clean water. Yes. Your kindness is much appreciated. I am Isha, and this is horror. He kind of grunts at you. I appreciate your skill in battle assisting us with them. <clears throat> May I have my sword back? Uh, he uh, hands it to you. Uh, pommel first. I take it. Thank you, and I nod my head. While this is going on, Duskin is going to ask uh, Blue to come over and open. A sarcophagus. No, 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 wait, no, no, no. Wait, no. wait, 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 Short guys. Rest. Short yeah, rest. Hang on, hang on just a bit. Uh, <clears throat> Duskin's, not, Duskin's not the one who wanders off and pulls like eight pup pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, this this <laughs> lady right here that has Marcus's crossbow. That's why he asked Blue. Uh, she shouts across That's the blue. chamber to you. Uh, careful! There's many traps here. You don't know what you're doing. Do you? He's like, he's like don't worry. I have a 22 perception and see everything. <laughs> oh, wait, it's Duskin. I have an 18 perception and see most things. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask uh, who here has come here in search of, uh, of fortunes. Amber uh, Eye raises his hand. Uh, you see, <laughs> you see the the manliest uh, and most dashing gnome you've ever seen walk forward. That would be me. Um, and how were you captured by these? I'm sorry. I'm something of a treasure hunter. Amber Eye is just letting out a very faint growl. <clears throat> what do you all know of these uh, ruins? Well. My partner Melissa and I came here on rumors that a powerful Uthgart warrior, a demigod, was buried here. His name, Geshmalig. Are you familiar with I the see. tale? I am not. You, you, you want me to tell you the tale? Absolutely. Uh, Isha turns and says, uh... Da, I would like to hear this tale. Uh, Can I make a history check? I, I am Uthgar. This would be of interest to me. Uh, are you going to be like that kid that spoils the story by shouting out the ending? Yep. All right. No. Yeah, go ahead. Give me a history check. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Geshmalig uh, is rumored to be the love child of the Raven Queen... And oh. one of the strongest Uthgart warriors in recent times. Uh, the way Ambride does it is he lets the gnome 
like get to the best part mm. and then he spoils that wow wow because uh, it's a gnome so the gnome uh basically tells you uh that uh you know legends say that long ago the raven queen when she first came to the world of toril took as a lover one of the strongest of the Uthgard. Their son was Geshmalig, and he was unlike any mortal man, with incredible strength and cunning. He hunted the most fell and powerful beasts of the north. Eventually, he came across a beast man. They became best friends after fighting for six days and six nights but and now i know what story this is <laughs> but uh it wouldn't last because his beast man friend udikin uh eventually became very very sick he prayed to his mother but she refused to answer his prayers. He looked for a cure among his own people, but none could provide it. And so he went on a great quest to discover a cure for Ukiden's mysterious ailment. He found a cure, but it was steeped so deeply in necrotic magic that when he used it on Ukiden, it killed him and brought him back as a hideous undead monstrosity. It is said that his mind broke and he was driven to madness by what he had done. He locked himself away deep in the earth right here. Now, Ukiden, always his best friend and bro, sought out his solitude and insisted that he join him in his quest against the living. Geshmalig refused, and now Ukiden, I'm assuming, is operating out of these very ruins because I saw a real scary bestial dude uh, take a bunch of prisoners from this here cell uh, and I didn't see them again. Mm. Everyone nods. Mm, mm, mm. But you can see that a lot of this dude's piss and vinegar was taken out because like Amber Eye kept like shouting out like um, what was going to happen next at the most dramatic parts. <laughs> Damn it, Amber. Yeah. All right. Um, does Hobos he ever don't like gnomes? And Melissa just kind of looks at all of you and says, uh, "So since they're here and I, um, we sought out this location, uh, not knowing that it was going to be, uh, let's just say, overpopulated with undead." Especially none that would be this active. A few mummies, sure. A couple of crypt guardians. Maybe a bone devil. Uh, but nothing this insane. Uh, you know your fault. Amber I knows gnomes no, know no better. I am no gnome. Uh, and uh, you would be wise to be polite. Since there is a very powerful and capable treasure hunter. Mm. So then I take it that you all, or you two at least, intend to continue Absolutely. going through the throne. Well, I guess there might not be any harm in maybe you uh, joining us along since we're uh, in search of an artifact here. But why? Isha turns and says, uh, but you are combat capable. You should help us escort these people back to civilized lands. Silvery Moon the gnome help you. is close, the gnome but man. there are some dwarven pictures closer. Please. It is just me and Harar. We cannot go on our own. God damn it. Um, okay. Um, does and how about does this? anyone here and, and Gyoza's gonna ask everyone, um, is anyone here capable of uh, 
unpetrifying someone. Yes. <clears throat> Does anyone know how to unpetrify somebody? Uh, alas, I am not capable of it yet. Uh, I mean, with a greater restoration. Um, no, what? I mean, is anyone capable of it? Uh, anyone who is wise enough to bring a greater restoration scroll with them to de delve a dungeon. Would that be you? It would be me, but they took my equipment. All right, so we can't we can't leave. We it's probably all in that crypt over there. <laughs> Where do you think they took your equipment? I am quite sure they took it deeper into the dungeon. There was a guy wearing some savage-looking armor with a flaming skull for a head. We're pretty sure that is Ukaden. I see. Yeah. Well, I don't before. think we can leave until we kill him. Mostly because he kept referring to himself in the third person. Amber, uh, I knows that feeling. <laughs> Alright then. Our, our friend and has what's been the other petrified, gentleman again? so we need... Melissa and Sincer. That would be great. Help. I will turn their name tags on so you can see them. Gotcha. Uh, I Melissa thought Melissa was a pretty exotic name for uh, Forgotten Realms. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> is she never is heard she of human? it actually? Uh, yeah, she is. Uh, she is human. Yep. She is uh, tall. Uh, has a very uh, like athletic build. Uh, straight brown hair tied back into a loose ponytail. Um, that always threatens to come undone, but never does. <laughs> Lars would have been enamored, but alas, he is a statue staring at a pillar going, Why? Why have they left me? <laughs> uh, Sincer is a whopping two foot nine, um, but proportionally, he has very heroic uh, an athletic build for his for his size, small but bright, intelligent eyes look under his uh, from beneath his furrowed, manly brows, and he always has a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> I feel like I recognize him. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? These are just two oh, random should... tomb raiders. What do you? I mean, the, the treasure hunters. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sincer and Melissa, if you two would be willing to allow us to escort these people, we would be more than happy to accompany you. And uh, Wait, by all means, you're... you want to leave and then come back? Do you want these people to die? Um, Here, no, here's here's the. Thing. I don't feel like I need to answer that question. We don't really question. need to. <laughs> we can't. Uh, we can't leave our our friend here. Our friend got petrified. We need, we we really could use a uh, scroll of greater restoration before yeah. we well, leave. Guys, guys, <clears throat> I keep getting the shit kicked out of me. I mean, do you want me to help escort, and then we can meet back yeah. up in Silvery Moon? Uh, sounds good. Would that would that work? I'm actually, yeah, I actually think that's okay. This is Dragon, uh, sorry, Giant Kin. Yes. Mm. That will do. All of you, weaklings and fat one, get ready to leave. <laughs> I told you I ain't fat. There's a big bone. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> his, his name is Crash. His name is Esther. If you must know. Where did you get my picture? That is just <laughs> not fair. I just googled <laughs> Canadian. It was the first one that came up. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, blue, blue. Leave the. Uh, if you, if you're leaving, mm -hmm. leave the uh, the crowbar. I think we'll. Yeah, give him the crowbar right. back. Yeah, here. Okay. Right. So, um, Victorious Library. I'm gonna meet you back there. All right. Yeah, the moderately priced in. How long yep. should I wait for you? Uh, uh, just a couple her. weeks. Couple weeks. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you know, or <laughs> yeah. Oh. And uh, if you don't see us, just wait longer. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let me check my fundage. Hold on. Give him some money. 
I've got. Give, give him a couple no, of those, those I'm good. Points. I'm good for it. I got like 300 gold. What? What are you been holding out on us? <laughs> Amber Eye has three. I can't ever think of anything to spend my money on, and you guys are always giving me presents. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. He he bought the. Uh, uh, Look, that's between the, me the... and my wallet. Uh, and. <laughs> No, no, he hey. had to bo he had to borrow from the. Uh, I hey, think he forgot hey, his gold off. Hey, Crash, would uh -huh. this work? Um, could we have, uh, or I guess everybody would this work? Uh, we could have Blue and uh, this returning party take this armor and go sell it and hold the, ar the money for us. Okay, you Luke want just hold the money for when we get you back. want people uh, to wear heavy armor as they sneak through the mountains back to town? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, little e Isha, who wears um, that's why I say it out loud. That's who, what yeah, yeah that's who, why I say who it wears out loud, strip, sure strips strips of uh, strips of leather um, because as a barbarian, your muscles are your armor, and her husband, True. who literally wears nothing. That's just pubes down there. You thought it was a loincloth. They look at you <laughs> with disgust. These people can uh, barely pick themselves up, and you want them to be your donkeys? No. No, nothing of that sort. You are a big shot you adventurer. A... Just put in your bag of holding. That's why I was about to ask. Blue, don't you have a bag Our of holding? bag of holding. <laughs> Blue does not have a bag of holding. I don't. All right. I hold Yo, things. I hold things in this bag, and he shows you his backpack. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, that's know. fine. Y'all get out of here. Get. <laughs> <laughs> do I have a bag of holding? I do, right? Except oh, that one. I think. I think. Uh, yeah. Rrr, 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 rrr. All right. I'm gonna perform an NPC stack real quick to get rid of all these guys. And right. and get it, get Rar Rar's attention. Alright. Oh my god, the fat one's eating them all. Har Rar looks at you. <sighs> Watch out for Black Dragon. <sighs> I think I have a bag. I'm 99% sure I have a bag of holding. If, I just. If, uh, uh, if you see Black Dragon, sacrifice large one first. Yeah, I have a bag of holding. Why did I get rid of it off my inventory? I don't know. Was it a bag of holding or handy haversack? Well, you took the handy it, haversack. It, it, was, took it the, was Salem's handy haversack. The, yeah, the reason you had it is you took Salem's uh, haversack when he got dusted. Well, no, remember, because I had my own bag of holding, and oh, yeah, you told you, me, oh, did you put you his You did get hella haversack rich when you sold that thing at the very beginning of the campaign, but, I mean... I, I got a lot of stuff to track. I, I I don't know if you've got a bag of holding or not. I mean... Yeah, yeah. I'm certain I do because uh, you asked me if I put his handy haversack in my bag of holding. Oh, you're right. I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. The defense rests. All righty. All right. And I think I just mistakenly deleted the bag of holding thinking it was his All right. handy haversack. Uh, the NPCs and Blue head out. Blue gives you one last uh, I... mournful look before he uh, heads out on his escort mission. And Bryce sits down. We'll he... see you there, Blue. I'm going to, yeah, uh, uh, I'll tell. Uh... Now that we've gotten rid of the peasants and the rabble, we could get down to real <laughs> adventuring. Noma's still here. Lars would totally dig this, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> she, she reminds him of Valara. All right, or so. Would remind him of Valara. What was the rod that we came here looking for again? Uh, we came the, here looking for a staff of power. The, this guy kind of cocks an eyebrow when you say that. Oh. Although, you, you Lars see, can't tell you that. <laughs> you're, yeah. here, you're here looking for a rod, huh? Amber Eye has rod what? for gnome. So I don't remember. It's either are you, a wand. Are you coming on to me, Kobold? You got a rod for me? <laughs> say, what are you guys here looking for? He's just growling. What are we here ah, for? We're here for magic. We're here for yeah, treasure, fine. obviously. It, All right. And when we find it, it's going to go in a museum. The museum called our bank account. Gotcha. All right. Well, there's one condition. Uh -huh. All right. We'll help you out. We'll let you uh, treasure ransack because we intend to as well. 
Mm-hmm. And you guys keep what you find. We'll keep what we find. But one condition. There's one item that we're here looking for. Specifically. And we need that. Uh-huh. It's the Staff of Power. Somewhere here. The <clears throat> Staff of Power? Said to be the very one. Said to be buried with Gesh Malig in his eternal well, uh, solitary confinement. And I intend to rip him apart if I need to get to it. Yep. Mm. Eh, why not just ask? Yeah, we could do that too. The legends say that Gesh Malig was such a badass fighter that he uh, beat up an arc. Uh, a, a, Archmage and started using his staff of power as a club just to make other wizrobes feel bad. That sounds horrible. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like the two reactions. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible. Nice. Um <clears throat> all right. So other condition, I guess, or other part of the condition, mm. you'll help us cure our our friend here of petrification. Is that all right? right. Tell you what tell you what the scroll of greater restoration is our payment for you busting us out of there okay all right all right that's a square deal then so let me ask you this then mm-hmm. <clears throat> hey my eyes are down here Yeah, I'll look down at him. Mm-hmm. And uh, <clears throat> I'll say, I guess we'll uh, come to terms with what we can figure out in regards to the Staff of Power. Whoever gets our hands on it first, then, huh? Uh, she says, there's no need for that. If you require the Staff of Power, there's plenty of other treasures here. Sounds good. We don't, we don't mean tend to make money off of it. Kiyosa. What's better than money? Yeah, something even better than that. Un- unfortunately, I can't really tell you. Nope, even better than that. There's nothing better than well, friendship. Like- and he looks at Melissa, and she looks at him, and they both smile at each other. <laughs> and Brian, and Brian makes like yeah. a weird gagging sound. <laughs> I'm a dawnbringer. All right, what? what? I'm a need? dawnbringer of Lathander. Do you think friendship is what motivates me most? That's that's cute. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. What? We should get rid of the gnome. Ias uh, walks up to you, Gyoza, as you're leaning down to whisper to Amber Eye. She leans down to whisper to you. I don't trust that woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it's fine. <clears throat> Alrighty then. I guess we should. Uh... I can barely hear you. Who? Because I'm whispering. Um, I'm whispering. <laughs> it's called role what? playing. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't help if I can't hear you. You cheat with uh, Discord gonna, and just turn them up. Turn the volume up to <laughs> 150. <clears throat> All right. So All right, uh, after we finish a short rest, I will uh, ritual cast detect magic. Oh, are we yeah. taking a short rest here? Definitely. Amber, let's take okay it with this. Let's take a short rest. Uh, I get actually up here. <laughs> up near my uh you know Wait, magical guardian are thing. you suggesting we take a short rest in the middle of that hallway that has six entry points well where do you suggest amber i sees comfortable hay right over here yeah i think the kobold might have one good idea my spot stay away no all righty sounds good then that being said uh, if any of you has a familiar, you should post it on guard. <clears throat> Will I? Would I be alerted? I mean, it would make noise if my guardian of faith attacked something. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, Doctor Who's standing guard. We're good. All right. Good job, Doctor Who. Good job. Just to be All right, clear, then. that is spelt like this, right? I feel like it's W H yeah, and two O's, <laughs> and he's and he's wearing a scarf. Is is like so. We're locking ourselves in a cell that we just we're liberated keeping, people from. We're keeping the door open. I mean, yeah. I, 
He broke the door down. It's, it smashed. Okay. okay. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Does does do does everyone We're want not... Amber Eye to play music while we rest? He starts pulling out his bagpipes. And we're no. not really Oh, I'd rather not if that's if that's all right. <laughs> I've been I already got tortured when we first got captured, so <laughs> We're just taking a short rest, right? Yeah, just mm-hmm. a short rest. Yeah. All so right. Amber I like squints at the at this gnome. So why don't you tell me about this dragon? The black dragon. Yeah. I mean, after we're done rolling this tomb, I mean, a uh, dragon horde sounds like a nice prize. That's what I was thinking, too. This could be your audition to see if you're uh, up to snuff. You know what? If the opportunity arises and we're uh, right on top of it, I guess, you know, I can't say no. What we snuffing? Before we travel any further together, perhaps it may be beneficial for you two to explain a bit about your skill set. Oh, yeah. I see how it is. Okay. Huh. They kind of look at each other uh, as if to say, you go first, no you uh, kind of thing. Uh, I think Snome is all talk. Melissa says, uh, well, I am uh, a shield breaker. Uh, I, uh, if I can get a hold of my morning star, I like to hit things with it. Um, it, yeah, if my enemies are using shields, I'm good at breaking them. Mm. I'm also good with animals and, uh, very athletic. Nice. <laughs> Amber, I seem to be pretty all right. right. And she is she is suiting up in some of the splint mail that was left behind. Yeah. Oh, you can hold on to that crossbow as well, by the way. Oh, I appreciate it. And Brian nudges Ias and is like, ha, dumb lady doesn't know Morningstar is called Sun. <laughs> and then uh, Sincer uh, says, uh, I am uh, an expert at exploring ancient and restricted places. An expert. Mm-hmm. How many have you delved? I'm also uh, a competent alchemist, and um, you know, pretty sneaky, I suppose. Say, I have a question. Mm-hmm. What could you do with dragon's blood as an alchemist? Mm. Uh, what color is the dragon? Green. Green. Uh, well, the most basic one would be an uh, antitoxin, but you could probably get uh, Elixir of the Iron Mind, you know, give you some uh, resistance to mind-affecting spells. Mmm. Sounds pretty neat. Mm. All right, just curious. Mm-hmm. All right, so you guys take your hour uh, short rest? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to roll some hit dice. And, and now that we've uh, lost our big strong, maybe the uh, strong cough in the next room. After Duskin, of course, searches it to make sure there are no traps. Mm. Searches the room first, and then the uh, sarcophagus. Yeah, Melissa does not look as strong as Blue, but she does look pretty damn strong. Not as strong as blue, eh? That's disappointing. <laughs> uh, Duskin um, will observe while, this room. While we're taking the short rest and doing this, Amber is going to just hum a little tune for the for the song of rest. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> like, like, uh, he plays like the <clears throat> nose horn. Nose, no, or like, <laughs> nose flute. All right. I'm going to ask Sincer, say, what kind of weapons do you wield, buddy? Usually, I uh, like light weapons. You got short bow, short swords, daggers. So everyone gets five hit points if they rolled hit dice. Does anybody have any? Uh, oh, yeah. I was gonna say like there's a. Uh... Oh, you want to oh, redistribute some bow. equipment for these guys? Oh, okay. Yeah, Dusk has got a short bow as well on his sheet. So, I mean, if you're not using and, it, I'll, uh... I'll gladly take it. 
and he'll also hand I've, him a dagger because it just seems wrong for someone not I've to have a dagger. A, I've also got a dagger if you need two daggers. Okay. You can Ember always I, use more daggers. Ember I has Do you need two daggers? The uh, and two short swords, but he refuses. Yeah, Sincer will take me. both daggers, and Melissa will take a great sword from the ground. All right. All right. So, uh, Duskin, right. you had moved ahead to start exploring, right? Yes, he's uh, because of the warning about traps in this room. He is going to come in cautiously, okay, um, looking around to see if he can spot any any traps or anything. He has, uh, let's see, what's he got? He's got a passive <clears throat> perception of 18, uh, and he's got a plus six to his investigation if he needs to roll. I'm going to ask these guys, say, uh, when you said that a uh, big bad guy came through here, which way did he come from? Uh, north, northeast. Ah, uh, north, huh? Mm-hmm. You think he came through that, uh... The northeast entrance to so that hall with the two statues? Yep. Alright. You guys think that might be the way we need to go? Yep. Alright. Don't get me wrong, there's still other areas. We didn't really get too far in here. Uh, managed to slip past the weird, spooky bear ghost. Didn't uh, trigger any of the rune traps that woke up the mummies. Uh, but as soon as we got to this main room, we just got mobbed by these skeletons. Huh. You dummies. We killed all of them. <laughs> maybe we should, uh... Maybe we should Mummy set a bit of treasure on them. Alright, so... Should we check the tomb? Uh, let's see. Although, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm checking to see... What else we got here? Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Okay. Uh... Sorry, continue. <laughs> I was just double. I was just double checking the the notes for this room. Uh, Dustin, you don't see a... any traps in here. Okay. Then he'll. And this is he... actually not a sarcophagus. Uh, it is like an altar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, Be careful! Things. He's stepping right up to it. He'll he'll search around the altar to see if there's hidden compartments sure. or. Uh... Yeah. He'll like peek on the sides. Uh he'll he'll do that thing that I know you love it, like, you know, I can fit my mini in this little nook here. <laughs> yes. Oh god. Yeah. Ah Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> uh. That's fine. I so turned you to stone, so you can, you, it's fine. <laughs> He'll, he'll investigate. Oh my God! He'll terribly investigate. Uh... You're so you're so busy uh, acting up that you get your fat head wedged between the the altar and the wall. Uh, in order to say in order to save face, uh, you act like you're reading some kind of inscription uh, that you can't actually see, and eventually you use your beautiful silken hair to kind of pull yourself free. <laughs> All, all of the like grunting and stuff, I make it sound like it's because it's some sort of uh, uh, demonic or or whatever Duskin, language. Dear, do you see something um, useful there? I no no oh. no. I didn't actually spot anything, right? <laughs> with a it's yeah, an altar. I, yeah. With a seven, you were way too distracted with your head getting stuck. <laughs> uh, perhaps someone else could take a look. Uh, you said you're like. Oh, uh, look, look here, look here. This altar tells the tale of the journey Geshmalig went on to find the cure for his friend. You can see here where he journeyed to the city of brass and he raced the chariot of the sun across the sea of fire. That's what I said. And here, if you look, you can see that he went to the bottom of the ocean and traveled to the elemental plane of water demanding from the sultan of the marids a cure for his friend's condition 
Uh, when she walked by, Duskin slipped Larionis' knife into her pocket. Oh, okay. <laughs> his know his note or his knife? <laughs> I think he said his number. His number. Oh, okay. I, I got you. <laughs> it's a little weird. Okay. It's just one number. So weird. Just two. So weird. <laughs> just two. <laughs> it just says Larionis dash two. Got it. Okay. Good to know. Gotcha. All right. All right. Let's go. Sorry, I'm, I'm in a playful mood right now. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Then let's head up northeast then, I guess. Ias comes over and says, did you just try to grab her butt? <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa! That's that. You seeing things, baby? <laughs> <laughs> baby, she kind of yeah. She seems sort of like stunned. She just kind of stands there. Baby. Oh wait, wait, wait! He twirls his mustache. Oh shit, Amber Eye. Um, I forgot to tell you when you went to like restore uh, hit points, you could not restore any. <gasps> Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, you're unable to regain any hit points at all. So you could refund those hit dice. Well, the first one would be wasted, but you could keep whatever other ones you spent. Yeah, you are unable to benefit from any healing at all. Just him? Yeah. It it, it was back when he was literally diving inside mummified remains that he So so my cure wounds on me would Yeah, work. yeah. Sorry. I Oh no. Yeah. Let me go ahead and put my my hit points back where they how long is that gonna take? Alright, there we go. Something tells me somebody's gotta touch him, mummy rot. <laughs> I mean, look at Adam. It's hard to tell because he wears that bony mask all the time, but he's looking pretty emaciated all of a sudden. Uh, and, duck. Got, got some ashy skin for sure. <laughs> Alright, I will. Like, you okay, little I buddy? will uh, ritual <laughs> cast detect, uh, detect poison and disease. Man, Take you, a look you just keep that shit memorized on your spell list? That's amazing. Um, I've got a lot fine. memorized. Okay. I'm multi-class. Amber, I feels fine, if not... He is horribly... He's gnome. horribly diseased. He has mummy rot, he's gonna die from it. Oh. <laughs> Amber, I doesn't know what Marcus. you're talking about. Amber, I Marcus. feels fine. Yeah. Duskin's gonna hand Amber you a good I, day. Amber, I's got... Ow. He eats it. You, Some mummy you gain no he's, benefits he's, from it whatsoever. He's gonna die. He's mm, actually he gotta... got mummy rot. <laughs> he's horribly diseased. Ooh. Does our cleric have? Uh, uh, Gyoza, it could be contagious. Ah, oh, <laughs> fucking a. Oh. Amber, it looks like he's about to sneeze. <laughs> everybody, everybody, step <laughs> away from Amber. <laughs> <Eye>. <laughs> Wait, um, you didn't let that thing, like, you let, it's diseased? It just yeah. became diseased. It just got yeah. diseased. I mean, honestly, it's a kobold. Is anyone here surprised? <laughs> uh -oh. True! Um, I can detect he, it. I can't cure it. Amber, I... <laughs> He's a Amber cat. I, Thank you very much. Amber, I cured lady with left... With group. Oh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're all moving oh, away from it. It's so it. sad. <laughs> no, I need to rest is, eight hours before I can just. No, I need sweet. to rest eight hours before uh, I can. Ias calls back to you. No, no, sweetie, you need to stay over there. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> Because you have you have bad <laughs> you have a bad Marcus. sickness. Yeah, right. Wait a second. No 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 no. Over there. <laughs> yeah, I'll run away too. <laughs> um. Hold on a second. What's Duskin's initial or uh, alignment? He's chaotic. Good. Wait, uh. Troll. <laughs> just stay there. I'll yeah, cure you. I holds out a hand. Just <laughs> wait. Just wait. Salem Amber I. Just wait. You don't want to make us sick. You're sick right now. Hang on. Guys, before we go any further, guys, come back. I I can cure him, but I need to I need to rest eight hours if I am yeah. to do that right now. Ias hey. turns to Gyoza and says, 
I blame you, Gyoza. You should not have encouraged him to swim inside a mummy. I just expected him to reach in. And this woman looks at you and she's like, you let him swim in a mummy? And you're surprised he has mummy rot? You're a terrible All father. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go back to the hey, cage. Crash, what is, uh, what is this right here that I'm looking at? I yelling. Uh, so up ahead, like up ahead is an amazing oh, okay. door. You know it's an amazing door because there's a beautiful neon pink arrow that lets you know Where's it's that? a beautiful door. Where did Amber I go? Amber Eye mm -hmm. is running mm -hmm. off in sadness. <laughs> no, no, Amber, uh, Amber, I come, come back Amber and refight back. Thank you. Come back. I, I want you back here with us. Everyone hates Amber Eye. I know what another hates door. You. I mean, you know. I mean, is that, is hold on, hold on, hold on. Sees? Does he run into a door? Yes, there are Dusk, doors Dusk. down both passages. Dusk is going to kind of whisper to Marcus, well, if, if he dies... Could we just take the pendant and put it on something else? Like that girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Um, yeah, gonna... Hey guys, let's well, we gotta pick a door. Let's uh, gonna... let's do some any mini mining. All right, right, I'm gonna. Yeah, you have three. Up. You have three doors available to you. I'm I'm grappling, Amber. I, Amber, I come here. No, you'll get sick. <laughs> damn it. I don't, I'll I'll cure myself. Fuck it. Amber, I come here. All right. Uh, if you are you gonna try to grapple him, give me an athletics and Amber, I give me an athletics or an acrobatics. Yeah. Oh wow! Inspiration! Inspiration! <laughs> no! Oh, inspiration has to be called out beforehand. You go to grab him, and he just sort of backflips and slithers away from you. He doesn't move further away. He's just like. All right. I like, will tell you this: like, that the door. Um, to the west, the one closest to the two treasure hunters and Ias. Um, it looks fancy. It's a fancy door. Uh, there is some gold inlay, uh, on that door. It looks like the kind. Hey, you know, it kind of looks like a. Open this door. It kind of looks like a vault door. If I'm being honest. Oh my god, guys! Come guys, on, we're Amber. doing it. We're going now the door, door. Now the door over by Amber Eye. Also looks like a vault door. It has mithril inlay. Oh wow! Uh, Amber, I come. Duskin, Duskin, check for traps. The, uh, I'll cure I'm, you. I'm, I'm I'm posting a gif in chat. Gyoza, do you still have your detect magic concentrating on? Like, what happens no. when you look at the doors? I imagine Amber is no, like a... I have a detect poison and disease currently. <laughs> Switch to detect. That's right? what Amber Eye looks like right now. Uh, he's looking at, <laughs> <laughs> at Marcus. So Marcus, do you convince him to rejoin everybody? What's the? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit here. Hey, come on! I'm gonna cure you. We just need to just need to stand one step behind or away, because if you get us sick, then we're all gonna die. Mm, all right. I, we don't want to die. Uh, at Duskin's insistence, Gyoza will uh, switch to okay, buddy. detect magic with a ritual. Okay. Ten, look at you guys spent ten minutes right. then. All right. Nobody hates you, Amber. I, I mean, it's a gold inlaid door that nobody appears to have tried to chisel a little gold off of, so it's got to be protected in some way, right? Duskin will, uh, from... from, from he will he will try to see if he can detect any thing um that are physically able to be seen while he's waiting for Yoza to do his uh ritual and maybe just maybe he, he can investigate better now hey uh, all right uh the door is uh locked and trapped it seems Can to be it seems me? to be some sort of uh, necrotic rune. Hmm. It's, uh, Duskin's it, gonna suggest everyone. If you didn't back know any up. better, you would say that uh, 
anyone not keyed to uh, the rune who tried to open uh, the vault door would be affected by a 5th level inflict wound spell. Oh. Oh, wow. oh, you know what? Super beneficial for something like that is a rogue who can send a mage hand to go and smack the door. All right. Poof. All right. You see a you see a discharge but, uh, of. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna activate of, the. Are you gonna activate it on purpose? Oh right. yeah, yeah. He's gonna use the mage hand to try and like activate the trap from afar. Okay. Uh, yeah, it discharges. The hand can't be killed, so that happens. Cool. Okay. And, uh, um, and is it still is it still armed? I've got just looking at it with detect magic. Does it appear to still like? Uh, uh the, it the seems stun? that the it, the spell will recharge over time. Hmm. Okay. Duskin will hand his thief's tools back to the main hand, and he will send it back over here. Okay. And he will see what his magical fingers can do. Yeah. Um, you wow. hear, yeah, you hear the sound of massive bolts sliding out, uh, or yeah, out of place, and you feel that you have unlocked it. He will bring the main hand over. His thieves tools from it, and then send the mage hand back over, Robin, which it might not be able to do because it has a weight limit. It's uh, like ten pounds. That's all right. I got it. What do you? I don't know how big the door is. I mean, it's no, a big. It's a big can... vault door, fifteen feet across. I don't think your mage hand will be able to open it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess I won't. Uh. Did you all walk up to it? Okay, uh, uh, I guess I have here, an idea. I'll help Thaumaturgy. you. Uh, oh, yeah, Thaumaturgy can open doors. Yeah, okay. Thaumaturgy, the door open. Yeah. All right. Uh, Duskin's worry is that if there's a trap on the other side, which is why he was like, wait, no, don't. <laughs> All right, with a, Sorry, loud, a with a loud boom, um, you pry the vault doors open. Uh, with Thaumaturgy. They just sort of creak and squeal as they open. It is very loud. Uh, what lies That's beyond, it looks like a lot of treasure. That's a lot of money. I think that's the danger zone right there. There are five suits of armor placed roughly equidistance, all looking in to the center of the vault. The center of the vault is a strange series of stone rings, five of them in increasing uh, diameter, circumference, yeah. Um, there is a pit in the center, and piled inside the pit is ass-loaded uh, treasure. Oh, we're losing it, Raj. Uh oh of course, of course. Sorry, oh, but, uh, I've got the tech magic up still. I'm just going to stand right here and look into the room. Okay. I'm yeah, going to call up Melissa and Sincer to check and see if... Uh, can you guys help us out? What do you guys think of this room? Or uh, might be trapped all now, the over. thing, The thing about a pit, Gyoza, is you have to be at the edge of the pit to look into a pit. Uh, I'm I'm like looking at the uh, the statues. Oh, the statues in the room. Gotcha. Uh, they do not seem to be magical. Hmm. All right, guys, I've got an idea. I'm gonna send Doctor Who to go get one coin, one go find one gold piece and bring it back to me. Do you want to send your familiar? Or do you want me to send the mage hand? Yeah, send the mage hand. Either one's fine. All right, you. Yeah, go ahead. Mage hand has a limit. Uh, pick a I'm pretty gem. A limit of one that. coin. I think it'll be fine. No, it has a limit of thirty feet. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Grab a uh, handful. Grab a handful of gold or something. Ten, twenty-five, and then I don't know, five feet down. I yeah, don't know how sure. deep it is. He's just gonna like scoop out some gold, and 
he'll levit like bring the range hand back up here and it's gonna still be in this square here. I need to see if there's any like explosions of magic or Yeah, a lot of the equipment in the pit um and the the money has blood and gore staining and sticking to it. Hmm. If he moves the mage hand here, does uh -huh. anything happen? No. And then out of the ring? Yeah, it's fine. Oh. Well, what do you guys say? Uh, how your about we just your use non living to... spell effect uh, moves in, grabs it, and moves out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's awfully auspicious. <laughs> All right. I will, I will send Doctor Who, who is a fae, sure. to go collect some gold. Okay. Just All to right. see what happens. Yeah, he, he flies down. Collect some gold. He collects some gold. That's going to drop the gold into my eyes. <sighs> is, it, is any of the gold magical? Like it looks like it's cursed or something? <laughs> no, it seems fine. <laughs> We're all gonna turn into undead. All right, I'm gonna. Ah, oh, fucking a. Uh, can you detect magic? Did you already? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's detecting, detecting magic, magic right I now. Don't see anything? There's no magic. Well, you any, can't any see magic. into the pit. I'm gonna is get the a thing. little closer. You gotta get close enough to see. I'm gonna see get into a little pit. bit closer. Okay. So there's nothing right here. Nothing right here. I don't see anything. All right. There are a few magic items in the pit. All right. There, there's a there's a couple magic items down there. I don't tell me what see to pluck. Anything yeah. crazy? Yeah. Tell Duskin what to grab. Um. All right. I'm gonna hey. get a little bit closer, but I'm gonna stay out of the rings. That's my morning star. Oh, is that their stuff? Uh, he'll oh. grab the Morning Star with Mage Hand and mm -hmm. bring it up to her. All right. Assuming, wait, does the Morning Star weigh more than ten pounds? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, Doctor Who will assist with that. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a Morning Star weighs. Strength check for Doctor Who. I don't know. I'm pretty sure a Morning Star weighs more than ten pounds. Oh, well, hold on. I mean. Yeah, Ball it, weighs, it, it weighs four pounds. Oh, does it? Okay. Um, yeah. Then, then yeah, you pick it up. Okay. And you'll bring it over to Melissa. And hey, that's my her. shield too. Uh, <laughs> just go grab the shield. Yosa, Yosa, He'll bring it out to her. Hey, that's my fucking armor. <laughs> that's too heavy for the uh, for the hand. Well, then I'm going to go down and get it. And she oh, climbs down right. into Careful. the pit. There's a lot of dead. There's a lot of blood in there. Yeah, yeah. That's probably from the people that they killed to take the stuff, though. Exactly. And she just starts stripping down out of the Uth Uthgart um, uh, armor and putting on her own armor. Amber Eye is... She's not dead? Like... Amber Eye is... Why would she be dead? Like... Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Squeeze by I guess I'll, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go in and kill someone. Oh, I'm going to stay out here in the hallway in case anything's coming. Uh, says Ias. Is there a bag, like a backpack or anything, like a rolled up scroll of greater restoration? Uh, she is carefully rummaging around, uh, trying to find more stuff. Alright, uh, what do these suits of armors look like? Are they, like, plate armor? Uh, no, they uh they they look like the Uthgard skeletons from before. Um, they now that you look at them, you realize they are um Uthgard skeletons. They're just not moving, uh. and they're not magical. So they're probably just propped up remains. Probably. <laughs> Gyoza. Yeah. What is magical in the pit? Okay. Uh. I, I'll look. I'll get closer to the pit and uh, look and see if there's any magical items in there. I can tell from here. Okay. Uh, there is a magical scimitar. Hmm. I called it. Doctor Who, bring me the scimitar. Okay. <laughs> uh, he grabs the scimitar and he brings it to you. It is done up in gold with uh, red enameling to look like flames. Mm. Alright, Crash. I'm hopping in here, too. Okay. 
Excellent. Any uh, diamonds? No, <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Wait, what? What, what happened? <laughs> they heard you rolling dice, I bet. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Uh, are there any diamonds in there? <laughs> Uh, I mean, how much time are you willing to dig around in this stuff? A few minutes. I mean, okay. um, D- Dusking just wants the scroll because Dusking there are uh, there is a there is a back. magical pair of gloves. Ooh. Uh, all told, uh, it looks like there's about uh, twelve hundred gold in assorted coinage. Gee. Oh, hey, at least we have your bag of holding. Let's put it in yeah, there. We <laughs> yeah, we got mine. If we can, if there is a scroll in there of greater restoration, I say we 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 thaw Lars out from the carbonite, we uh, secure all the treasure, we rest, we heal Amber Eye in the morning, and then we divvy up the treasure. It looks like there are 20 pounds of silver trade bars. Grab those. Specifically those. Wait, are those worth a lot? Uh, usually they're about uh, 10, 20 pounds. So... They're five gold each. Never mind, that's garbage. Not magic <laughs> trade bars, silver trade bars. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'll grab. I'll just start grabbing anything that looks fancy that Gyoza points out is magical or whatever. Mm-hmm. And well, the gloves, if there's, there's any magic gloves, I'll grab a couple handfuls of gold. Uh, I guess maybe a hundred gold or so. Let's uh, mm-hmm. let's let's take all the gold. Why are we going to take gold? Because uh, we want to find the scroll first. Melissa Handle calls up to Sincer and says, uh, "Neither of our haversacks is here." Shit. God damn it. What about your scroll? It was in the haversack? Yeah, it was in the haversack. God damn it. All right. Any diamonds here? Uh, the only gems you, f- gems you find are, uh, let's see, two black onyx, each worth 50 gold. Is yeah, somebody I'll recording grab- all this in the treasure channel? Or do I need to be posting it over there? Joe's just typing it in the main chat right now. Oh, okay. Once we have a- uh, it, would, it would be great okay. if, if you also put it in the treasure <clears throat> channel. All right, then. Yeah, I'll start shoveling in shit into my bag of holding then, I guess, uh, since I'm the only one with magical bag. So, at the moment. Um, once we, uh, since I'll be holding on to all this shit, uh, once we get the greater restoration, our other friend has a bag of holding. Um We'll rest, and then we'll divvy up the treasure. How does that sound to you, too? So, instead of first come, first serve, now you're telling us that it's going to be even shares? Uh, you know what? That works for I'll us. I'll tell you what. Okay. Yeah, we outnumber them. That benefits them greatly. All right. Keeps them honest, too. I was thinking just, uh... Well, yeah, never mind. <laughs> All right, uh, so we got twelve hundred gold, twenty pounds of magic, tr- uh, of silver trade bars, magic gloves, magic scimitar, and two black onyx. Yeah, I got a posting treasure. All right. Okay. Um. All right. I, I, I guess we're good. I guess we're moving on. All right. You guess we're good. We still have a frozen solid uh, larsicle. No, no. I mean, moving on to find their their haversacks. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. so we can get the scroll. I I never realized how strangely anxious it makes me not to have my own character. <laughs> Duskin's fun and all, but. All right. <laughs> So is you this guys, all just are you props? guys just vacuuming up all the stuff then, or? Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just again, it's indicative that there is treasure. It's not an accurate uh, miniature gotcha. of just how much treasure is there. Yeah. So gotcha. yeah, yeah. It's Diablo. You open the treasure chest and a huge pile of gold appears, and you looted it, and they're like, "There's five gold." Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. 
Doskin will tell Amber Eye what 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 hit, what they saw and what they found, and um, and says that we're just looking for their their sa- the other two sacks so that we can saw Lars out and then rest to heal Amber Eye. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go over to uh, Amber Eye and I'm gonna say, "Hey, buddy, where is he at?" He's over here where the ping is. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go over to him. Say, "Hey, buddy, I got you a couple gifts here. I give him the two black onyx." Well, shiny stones. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Uh, over to the right, the hall on the right. North the mithril hall, there. mithril door. Yeah. Oh, that actually reminds me. Uh, before we leave, we don't have to do it right now, but before we leave, we should literally take a hammer and a chisel to these doors and take the gold and the mithril off. Is that uh, something we can do, Crunch? I don't I think mean, it's going to be that much. You can gold. do it. Um... I mean, I don't think it's going to be worth the time. Sometimes it might be of... it might be easier just to take all the coins that you've found and throw them into a bag of holding. But I mean, if you feel like, <laughs> if you feel like you have the time, sure. No, I really don't no. have the time. No, that that would take a lot of time, and that's yeah. not going to be a lot of gold. It's just mithril. gold inlaid. That's not. You said this was it's inlaid with mithril, or is it uh, made of mithril? It is inlaid with mithril. It is a stone vault door inlaid with mithril. Right, right. So you said mithril you... on it. That would be very hard to get out. Yeah. And it's probably trapped, and you'll probably die trying to get out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You sounded like yeah. uh, Finding Nemo's dad there. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. uh. Detect magic, I guess. Trying to do the same yeah. thing, yeah. Like. Uh, same deal. Yeah. Same deal. It'll cast in a level 5 Inflict Wounds. I like and, how everyone is spaced at least one block away from Amber <laughs> So, same same deal then. The mage handle, like, you know, pull on the door to make the thing go. And then it'll come oh, back to Dusk. Let me roll oh, something real quick. Hold on. Crash. Oof. Oh. Okay, good to know. All right. And then this time we'll see how good these things do. Huzzah! Oh, Ooh, yeah, not happening that time. Okay. So he's gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Oh, quick question: If uh-huh. I revivify someone who dies from a disease that prevents healing, that question has I actually guess. come up. They will just be in a coma. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Dusty will take his uh, th- tools from the mage hand, and I guess I have to do this myself. And he will try and do it himself. All right, diminishing returns. You have attempted this lock once before, so it will be at disadvantage this time. Disadvantage it is. But you get it too. Oh God damn it! Mm. This is a this is a vault door. So sixteen with the disadvantage. Uh, I'm guessing that's not enough. You sense the other treasure hunters watching you. You feel the <clears throat> you feel the judgy non elven eyes upon you. Duskin, like after yeah. the second attempt, his shoulders slump and he's like, ah, "A door this complex only Lars can unlock this door." <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did, did I don't. I don't. <laughs> wow. I, uh, <laughs> wow. Did Sensor like take the take the wide area around Amber Eye? Oh, for sure. You diseased. Amber I would sneeze. Like oh. have a fake sneeze in his general direction. Ugh, he shudders. Do you want <laughs> us to try? Yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> Can we borrow your yeah. picks? Yeah, he'll, he'll pass the right. picks over. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why everyone thought it was so funny that Duskin, you know, respects Lars' prowess. Uh, so together they get a twenty plus four twenty-four. Uh, you hear the lock undo, and they you're almost as good as Lars. They back away. <laughs> As is uh, like uh, to Gyoza says, "Can you detect disease on Duskin? I think something happened to him." <laughs> um, he has some sort of door. madness. <laughs> I'm going to mention uh, to them yeah, I, that... I, I looked at them earlier. I didn't see anything <laughs> when I saw... Hey, come on. Eye. 
Lars passed every lockpick he tried so far. All right, the door. Yeah, uh, uh, someone push open the door. All right, Melissa. Melissa, 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 Melissa will grab one yeah. door if somebody's willing to grab the other. Oh. Or just thaumaturgy, whatever. Hey, crap. Oh, you just got thaumaturgy. You know what? No, no, I'm not gonna thaumaturgy this one. Huh? Uh, what's up, Amber? Uh, I just, uh, just a random thought occurred to me uh -huh. uh, while they're all doing this. Amber uh -huh. is gonna pull out his little water, uh, water skin. Uh huh. And drink some of the water and okay. see what happens. You just. It's like you're pouring it into a sandbox. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. In fact, when you sneeze, sand comes out. And dust. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Melissa <laughs> says, it'd be more dramatic if one of you grabbed the other door. Then we could open them at the same time. All right. Gyoza will do it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Mm, you didn't do it. Dragon! Mm, there you <laughs> go. Oh, it's definitely a room big enough for a dragon. Uh, you look in, oh, and you see a massive uh, cathedral ceiling. It goes about 45, 50 feet up. And you see many very large sarcophagi. You see stairs that lead up to a di uh, like an altar or a dais. Uh, there are continual flames burning in chan um, are these chandeliers? Yeah, chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. And you see two ominous statues on either side of the altar. This looks like a boss room. No, 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 I'm sorry. This looks like a big room that would be fun to explore. So, we sorry, I'm still getting the hang of this favors. DM and stuff, so. I <laughs> may, have, may have overplayed my hand there. No, no haversack. <laughs> yeah, no. in the center of the no, room, you see the haversack. <laughs> it grabs its initiative dice. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, maybe we should go to the room below us that had a normal door and see if the sacks are there before we go into the ominous. Oh wait, oh, no, no, there's a haversack. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Doskin. <laughs> Our battle begins. No, this none of this happens. I think Duskin may have gotten like some bad like dungeon mold, like that he inhaled because he is definitely hallucinating heavily tonight. Jeez. He's like, "Do you see the bags? <laughs> the bags? It's over there." <laughs> Anywho, you know what? It, the, the the mustache finally grew like grew inside enough that it's that oh it, it, into your brain. Hairs are yeah. hitting his brain. Yeah, yeah, that's that's clearly what it is. Oof. You know, what, I don't think real, there's plants it's, 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 that it's, were growing out of Blue's actually... nose and ears actually ever got <laughs> fixed. That's right. It's a, it's a mind flare mustache. So, <laughs> uh, the two treasure hunters look at you. So are we going in? I mean. I guess all together, yeah. We yeah. should try and get Lars first. <laughs> and Look, save Amber Eye. Whatever a Lars is, I'm sure it's great. But this Duskin character seems like a dynamite uh, rogue. Like, what? if they're turned to stone, they'll be fine. Unless, I don't know, something, you know, smashes them or thinks that they're cool and drags them off. But... Oh, the only thing that would be strong enough to drag a statue off would be like a dragon. That's, that's crazy. God. Yeah. Or giants. I mean, there are a lot of giants in the area. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Here. You know, I was kind of thinking this whole complex is actually sized for giants. You're right. Okay. I've accepted my lot. I am Dusky 2.0. Larianus is lot. <laughs> Dusky onus it is. <laughs> Even better. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dusky onus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Dusky onus it is. Aes puts, a, Aes puts a like, hand on your shoulder and says, um, I respect whatever life choices you're making, and I'll try to support <laughs> you. Are, are we going in? 
Are I we guess. gonna go through We're the other? Are in. we gonna go down to the other door? Crash. Uh, oh no, never mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go in. I step in. Oh damn! Alongside oh, everyone else. In. Alongside everyone else. Oh damn! With everyone else in unison, like as in we move as a unit together. All right. As you start to head in, um, <laughs> Melissa says, "This whoa 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 whoa." But I'm pretty sure this is the offering chamber. Offering to what? Well, in the past, his many followers came here and tried to appease uh, Geshmalig to come out of his solitude and go back to leading his people. But his shame and sorrow was so great that he refused. Uh, it's said that some of his followers died here, praying and petitioning to him to return to them. It's said that their spirits still linger. Fuck. <laughs> but you're a cleric of Lathander, so it shouldn't be any problem for you. <laughs> yeah, with no holy water left and no banishment abilities. But yet. But you have what matters deep inside of you. Right? Isn't yeah. that how it goes? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, there is a uh, yeah. There's some uh, flavor text. Hundreds. Let me say that again. Hundreds of small shrines line the walls of this room. Old wax runs down the walls, forming large pools on the floor. These rivers of molten candles hint at the fact that each of the little shrines was once well tended to, and may have contained some sort of burial item, which was brought forth. To honor the fallen. A cursory glance reveals that everything of worth in this chamber is gone. All right, let's go south and find and, the habit. Unless deck. you're in the habit of collecting continual flames, which are, you know, kind of pricey, you'd have to climb up to the uh, chandeliers to get them. Or I guess just use magic mage hand or something, or owls. Yeah. Uh, send your owl up to get a candle. Uh, I mean, that's actually not a bad idea. Wait, you just stepped inside. You did. I thought we were all stepping inside. <laughs> no, yeah, no, what, no. What happened when you said? No, no, she said hold on. So I stopped. Are, are we not? St <laughs> step back. Step back. Get back in. Get back in. Get back. Mac Duskin. Send your owl to get a fucking candle. <laughs> Alright, I'll I'll send uh, Doctor Who to uh, uh, grab a try and get a candle out of the chandelier. Yeah. yeah Duskin, you do notice that um Melissa uh is now wearing a holy symbol of Torm, and you realize that her shield is emblazoned with the symbol of Torm as well. Oh, Torm's a are good you, one. Are you a cleric? No, I'm just very religious. Huh. Okay. Help me. Help me, or I. What? <laughs> uh, I'm going to knock on this sarcophagus with a mage hand. Uh, Amber, guy, Amber I was molested by a mage hand a second ago. Something grabbed me. That was just <laughs> me. I was trying to reassure you. He's clinging to the wall. I forgot the main chance invisible. <laughs> but oh. yes, well, well, the owl is grabbing a thing over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to knock on this one. Because, you know, uh, I'm dead. You hear a hollow, empty sound uh, resound from inside of it. Okay. Can I thaumaturgy a sarcophagus lid? Sure, man. Open? Yeah, I love it when you do sacrilegious stuff. <laughs> I was just curious <laughs> if I could. Yeah I, I mean, yeah. I mean, Marcus was the one that was all in on the grave robbing <laughs> in the Feywild. <laughs> like, hey, one of the on. thieves is like, uh, we shouldn't mess with the with the dead. And you're like, pop it open! I'm going to take a crowbar and fail six times trying it until I think to get the giant to open it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just carving the hell out of a sarcophagus with a crowbar. 
God bless. All right, the owl, <laughs> uh, the owl flies you back. Um, some, uh, some stuff. Yeah, brings you a, a candle. It's got like a weak continual flame on it. This seems that they all have to work together to create any kind of decent light. Mm. These are lame candles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're um, they're not nearly as cool as that hair. Well, I guess we should go through the other door then. For now, I think it seems when... this place has been robbed. Well, we haven't gone and looked at this yet, and there's a lot yeah. of cobwebs over there. Who knows what's behind there? Plus, those statues are freaky as hell. But can I just can I other... just say what a what a god's damn shame it is that some Tomb Raiders would come in here. And steal all this shit. Yeah. He looks around <laughs> and you see one tear just roll down his little face. As he looks I mean, around. you could always check in that main sarcophagus if you want. Be my guest. You will. I think that's an altar. Oh, that's an offering table. Oh, it's an yeah, offering that's a, that's table? That's an altar. Oh. And Melissa, Melissa says, um, well, in my experience, there's usually secret clues written on these altars that help you later on and the dungeon all right well then let's if get no one else guy. is willing to go I, oh okay there he goes there he goes there he goes <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> fuck it wow you guys are really doing this okay all right <laughs> Aya <laughs> says I will go. watch from the doorway I will guard the hallway and our sick baby Come on, Melissa. Sincer, let's look around for some clues then. Uh, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna use the invisible mage hand to cover the eyes of one statue. <laughs> Are, do I do I see anything magical in this room? Uh, Lots of continual flames. The candles, yeah. Besides the continual flames, you see uh, the, specifically the statues. You are see they, the friend. You see the friendship that you forged with your companions. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that is the most magical thing of all. There you go. True. Can Magic I read the script magic. on the uh, on the sarcophagus or the not the sarcophagus? Uh, the do altar. you speak Uthgard? Uthgard. You yeah. know, I have giant mm. Sylvan. Mm. These can't elevate. It was a common. trick question because, as you know, the Uthgard don't have a written language. Uh, no, oh! it's it's a bunch of pictures again, just like the last one. Yeah, Dustin's uh, not smart, so he he does not know. He's, okay. he's... Uh, this would be a knowledge history check to understand what you're looking at here. Oh, he is actually proficient. And, uh, let's see here, then. I... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I feel Guys, inspired. I'm pretty sure my this is check. a recipe the for, bench. like... <laughs> this is for nan bread with this advantage with advantage Amorai. from inspiration so is gonna call out and be like what do they look like <laughs> okay so it's a squiggly that don't, kind of it's like them. a three but it's backwards and then it's like inverted about 90 degrees and I don't know man <laughs> did my uh, 16 history do anything find anything no you're like, uh, you're like. I bet this is about Geshmalig. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. that's pretty much where you're at. True, Melissa. Can you read this? Uh, well, since I have archaeologist as a as a character background, yes. So. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. What does it say? Um, this just recounts more of the story of uh, Geshmalig. Uh, this is about how he single-handedly fought 500 orcs uh, protecting one of the Uthgart uh, villages against a orc war chief. Hmm. 500. If, what are these If you look giant over statues? here, this is where he um, killed an ancient white dragon by allowing it to swallow him and then destroying it from the inside out. Mm, mm. Yes, yes, I see that now. Wow, he did that while restrained. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. And back here, 
you can oh uh she leans in to duskin duskin can you go to private chat real quick he yes okay i'm oh, sorry i'll respect your new identity dusky onus okay uh she leans in and very quietly she says there's a secret compartment we can split whatever's inside no one has to know Oh, I honestly don't know what desk. Would... Hold on, let me look at his ideals and bonds and stuff okay. to get an idea. Uh... His ideal is his back not hurting anymore. If I played with the DM screen, I completely would have stoned Duskin. Obviously, if there was a choice, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's quite yeah. all right. Yeah, no. it's all good. Okay. Uh... I'm glad you have something to play that's similar to your class in the meantime. <laughs> I mean that's it, it's really the best uh, best of the uh, of the options here. Uh, he'll give her just a very subtle nod, mm -hmm. I think. All right. Um, she says uh, she pretends to keep reading and uh, slowly opens uh, the hatch uh, or the little sliding panel, and you see two big fat opals and an uh, an emerald. And she uh, she nods to you, um, and uh, slips you uh, one. Uh, do you want the emerald or do you want uh, the opals? So he's gonna just uh, kind of motion with his. Uh... Look at Yosa trying to be sneaky. Look at that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. So I see sad. That. It's so sad. He's, he's turning into such a meta gamer. It's it's terrible. We're gonna put a meta. We gotta put one of the meta pages. He's like uh, one step away from like Adventures League at this point. <laughs> so, Dustin, Dustin's gonna like with his uh, fingers. He's just gonna motion like one opal to her, one to him, mm -hmm. and then the emerald. He's gonna circle and point to them like we pretend we found the emerald. She nods. She nods. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Can you just go ahead and roll a charisma saving throw real quick, just to freak him out? <laughs> you bet. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. There. There's a. All right. There's a secret panel back here. Oh shit. What? Uh, you see her. You see her holding up a baseball-sized emerald. Whoa. Yeah, Duskin's gonna. Or, sorry, I gotta start referring to him by his proper name. Duskyanus is going to uh, uh, kind of nod and uh, motion to Marcus and kind of be like, we'll have to figure out a way to split this evenly among the group. The emerald? Uh, it, yeah, it's it's huge sure. and very split valuable. Split it? I suppose if we went someplace um, civil, we could sell it and then split the profits. I... If if I had to guess, I'd say this is worth at least a thousand gold. Huh. And that was just lame back there behind it? No, there no, was a, a secret, secret compartment. Secret panel. Oh. Yeah, sounds good. There, you know what? How about this? You guys uh keep the uh emerald, we'll keep all the gold that we found in that pit. Sound good? Um It'd be a lot easier to travel with, sure. All right, sounds good. Well, if you say it's worth about a thousand gold, it's what about we got from that pit. So you are extremely generous. Thank you, Don Bringer. Yeah. May Torn grant you courage in the trials and tribulations yet to come. And may Lathander himself light your path. So the uh, mage hand, Dus Duskin's going to try and just quickly clear away the cobwebs back mm -hmm. and see if he can, I mean. Oh, check for a secret a door. I got you. I got you. I mean, it's it's the only place with cobwebs in yeah. the whole place. True. Uh, yeah. Uh, give me an investigation. With advantage for, for clearing it out. Ooh. I want to investigate oh. over here for secrets. For who's? Oh my god, that was uh, an advantage roll. I wanna I wanna investigate. 
Okay, like the the walls and stuff over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Just investigating the walls and statues. All right. Um. Everybody else investigating stuff. Sure, sure, sure. How how much time do you want to spend investigating these walls and whatnot? I don't know. Five minutes. Like. Uh, three minutes. All right, so you kind of start glancing around, cursory glances. Yeah, uh, all the little shrines that make up the uh, the wall that you know line the walls. Uh, it looks like the candles have burned down to pools of wax and nubbins, and there are whatever of value was there has been taken. You can see the indentions uh, where coins used to be, um, gems, that sort of stuff. All of it has been taken. <clears throat> then yeah. I guess I'll uh I'll help Dusk Jonas over here. With, okay. Uh, looking around for a uh, thing. Do I have to roll separately, or am I just gonna help him? Um, uh, I already rolled advantage and got a twelve. Yeah, I mean, so you guys have been doing some good investigation searches, but again, it's gonna be diminishing returns. Like, if you didn't find it the first time, it's just gonna be harder and harder to find it as you get more and more frustrated. You know what? That's all right. I feel a natural twenty coming on. All right. All right. Mm. <laughs> it's got half of a 20 <laughs> I I was going to say that Dusky Honest would almost motion as Sinister being the I've, uh, experienced yeah I've given hunter. this place a, a full look look over and I uh, I didn't see anything Yeah, whoever came there here there must be something hidden back here behind these webs whoever came here they were good they stripped every single one of these little shrines down I can only okay. imagine the fortune they must have walked away with. Yeah. Well, we still have another door to check, and we still have gear of yours that has not been claimed. And hopefully we can do that and then, you know, get Amber Eye healed up and Lars fleshed up. Mm. That sounded dirtier That's than right. it was in my yeah. head. Crash, can I do a medicine check on like what's going on with with uh, Amber Eye? Sure, yeah. You already got a twenty three on it. You just want to know more about Mummy Rot? Um, well, no, I I roll. I think I rolled the twenty three on the petrification earlier. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. do another medicine check to see if you can uh, remember what Mummy Rot's all about. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you, you, I'm should, a, you should always ask for help I'm before you roll. <laughs> I'm a healer. You give me advantage. <laughs> Has anyone else trained in medicine? Anyone else? Amber Eye. Amber Eye, okay. Uh, he's a bard. Amber Eye, you... He looks at your pitiful body and, uh, and the sand that's leaking out of your nose and the little dust clouds that you're coughing up, and he digs deep real deep into those few moments that he paid attention in school and he remembers oh mummy rot okay uh so so mummy rot is uh both a disease but it is also a curse <laughs> so that was probably good that you bothered to to learn this before you uh you did all that um and <laughs> but of course, our cleric has removed curse, curse prepared already because he's a cleric. Nope. And... <laughs> <laughs> but now I, you, I don't keep prepared uh, right now. On the bright side, like at least now you know that you need remove curse and not remove disease. That's right. Yeah, that's right. True. Yeah. Um, what else does it do? Let's talk about it. Um, uh, at the what? at the end of every long rest, um, or. Um, every 24 hours, you know, whichever comes first. Uh, let's see. He rolls 3d6. Uh, and his maximum hit points reduced by that much permanently. Oh my god. Uh, if this ever causes his maximum hit points to reduce to zero, he turns to dust. Gone forever. <laughs> oh my god. The, the fate of Salem. All right, so all right, well, you just need to cast a remove a curse. That's all. Before yeah, well, he's he got a bit until point. that, that hey, time. Crash, what what level is remove curse? <laughs> Third, prep that. 
Oh, okay. I got, I got a, I got a yeah, question. Yeah, your question crash. is, if your current HP dropped below zero, and you can't heal back up, but that wasn't your max HP, what happens to you? Uh, you go into yeah. a fitful coma. Uh, the pain is not unlike being eaten alive from the inside by scarab beetles. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like, oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> no big deal. That sounds horrifying. All right, let's open this door. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Is it magic? Uh, is it magic? Uh, oh, Step back. <laughs> yeah. Does it have that the uh, the like the necro uh, death? Yeah, necro touch. It uh is a similar door to what you have seen before. Yes. Uh, this one, um, let me check. This one is etched with, uh, pieces of jet. Hmm. What? Like Blackstone? Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, first the main candle knock on the door to make it go kablooey. And, and then... Yeah. I don't think an owl can assist you, but uh, Dr. Putin can try. It most cer <laughs> certainly can not in any, in any way, shape, or form. So his main hand grabs the thieves tools, okay. and he'll he'll try and go for it. Uh, I I do have the guidance of Salune. Okay. And sure where the hell's the lock? Oh, yeah, right here. Thieves tools. Go, go, Duskyanis. Oh, that's like the worst roll he's had yet for that. You get the but feeling that you are you are cruising for a twenty to get these doors open. Oh dang! Okay, so Duskin like shakes his shakes his head as if the hand is just not doing it for him. He's gonna hand off the tools to himself, and then he's gonna head over <laughs> and take two. Hey, let me. Uh, uh, this hey, one would be just a bag, uh, though, right? They slap him maybe, real quick and maybe like, you, you got should, this time, buddy. Okay. Ooh. Maybe you should should help him. Uh, can I? I really are, are, are you are you I trained in thieves tools? No. no you just no, not you. you. Th these people. Well, I'm just a cunning man. He's got diminishing returns. <laughs> maybe we should do it. I do yeah. have a. Oh, never mind. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh, he's got it. That was a dis that was a disadvantage roll. Thank you very much. Go Duskin. You're like two rogues. You're like two rogues in one now. It's it's, <laughs> it's so weird how that happened. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna dramatically open one door if someone wants to dramatically open the other. I got it. Oh, never mind. Gills is already there. Yeah. All right, that guy Duskin's with the red. Like, that guy with the red little afro little is a real go getter. I like him. All right, you guys open the door. Oh, and standing it, right in the middle here. It reveals. Oh, geez, I'm, I'm like streaming an empty room this whole time. Uh, it's hard. Uh, all right. <laughs> you guys open the doors and you reveal a long, long, long ass hallway. Oh wow! Let's start moving down the. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. We will move at a uh, a slow pace, keeping an eye out for uh, traps along the way. I think... The long hallway... This is like a rolling, rolling boulder hallway, man. I think with the reveal of this boulder hallway, um, and us being like 40 minutes over, I think this is where we will stop for oh, now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, I legit lost track of time. I've been having so much... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good good session. Session. yeah. Yeah. You guys uh, found a lot of loot. Um, got some... Uh, Got a lot of got a lot of interesting uh, interesting stuff done. Somebody got uh, disease, magic curse disease. So Whoa, yeah. what happened? At, why, why is Amber Eye all the way up there? <laughs> I was just uh, collecting everybody into one place. Uh, I'll put you back. Oh okay. There you go. <laughs> all right. Like he's he's keeping his distance so as not to get everyone sick. Oh man. Uh, okay. So good stuff. Uh, some good RP, some good combat. There's a nice mix of stuff in this adventure. Uh, or this session. I will move you guys back to your start page. And we will continue this next week. Beautiful. Alright. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, with uh, Gyoza's permission, I'm going to stream and record 
Gyoza DMing me tomorrow. Ho -ho. Yeah, he will be the pitcher and I will be the catcher. No, that's a terrible analogy, but still, you know. Um, <laughs> and, now it's, and, and now it's out there on the internet. And uh, I think it'll be pretty fun. I hope. I don't know. My goal is to become a powerful druid that makes him uh, work super hard, five times as hard as he has to. Uh, I'm going to ask for all the custom gross. miniatures. I'm going to turn into all kinds of stuff. I'm going to cast a tangle on everything. Uh, it's good. yeah, good berries. That sounds awful. Good berries out the wazoo. I'm gonna just poop good berries everywhere. It's gonna now be amazing. Before, before everyone goes, because we're, we're getting into that season, I've got a a terrible corny Christmas themed joke for everybody. Oh, okay. Oh, good. All right. Now, after a long Christmas season, what do Santa's reindeer do with all of their hard? earned cash they deposit it in the snowbank wow wow well so i'm just gonna kill off yeah. <laughs> yeah that's uh <laughs> and that's where the campaign ends all right cool yep um TPK. all the giants die from psychic damage and uh that's it um anyways the canadian saves the day look at that uh, if you're curious what 5th edition D&D &D and Warcraft would be like if they had a baby, um, we're going to be streaming a Warcraft one-shot uh, Tuesday night. Uh, if you wonder what it's like fighting team at level 20, they're going to fight team at at level 20 uh, Monday night. Um, if you are like, Hero Quest is the greatest game of all time because I saw the video and it told me that and I know it's true. We're going to play some Hero Quest on Wednesday. I think there's one spot that opened up because Christmas Party um, stole somebody. So if you are yeah, interested like, in that, uh, let me know. So it's on Wednesday. Um, which is weird because Christmas is still like two weeks away. It's man, it's like weeks. it's like tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> man, we had, yeah. our, we had our Christmas lunch on December 5th. It was the weirdest thing. Yeah. You're, so early. Fun fact for everyone. Okay. Uh... Uh, Moose's number one aquatic predator is the killer whale. That is amazing, and I didn't know that. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get some sleep so I can be a really obnoxious druid tomorrow. So uh, I hope it. everybody has a great night, great weekend. It was fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. Good night. Right. See you later. Good night. See you.